Hi, my name's Beth Miller and I live in a little village in West Yorkshire. I've been sewing most of my life. Even my first job was in a haberdashery shop. And from there I've gone on and I've worked in theatres, schools, I've done freelance, I've made wedding dresses, and I've even made a yellow sunburn dress that was six foot long for a panto dame. Uh, having MS, movement isn't always easy, but I find that sewing really helps. I love sashko embroidery, patchwork and quilting. My top tip, you've not gone wrong, you've just added a design feature to your already original piece of work. Cover it, embellish it, put a button on it. It's your own happy happening. I'm really looking forward to coming on Sewing Street and showing you my kits and patterns and hope that you enjoy doing them just as much as I do. See you soon. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Morning, good morning, good morning, morning. Got such a brilliant show for you today. It's absolutely jam packed. All five hours have got guests in. I know, I know, it's brilliant. So let's start. Let's start with today's early bird. Now, we've been waiting for these to come back in stock, and they're here, and you're getting two of them. You are getting two of these assorted glues. They're just the refills, obviously, but in a minute, I've got a surprise for you. So here we go £11.98. You're saving £2. Every little help, says Hannah. So you get uh, two blue, two pink, and two yellow. Uh, the glue inside them is exactly the same. All the glues dry completely clear. All the glues you can stitch through. What's the matter? What's the matter, Elliot? Elliot's been weird this morning, everyone, just so you know. More weird than normal, just so you know. Anyway, anyway, look, 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 you're saving two pounds. This is the early bird. Early bird, £11.98. So once you put that in your basket and you've checked out, that's your P&P done for the day. So whether you come in and buy a Sashko cushion or a table runner or a dress pattern or a trouser pattern or something from Yarn Lane, that's your P&P paid for for the whole day now. Oh, there's so many people. I'll read some of your in a minute because there's so many people coming through. So who's in? Loads of people checking out straight away. So I'll just very quickly tell you that Jane says good morning, Anne says good morning, Alison says good morning, Michaela says good morning, Susan, cousin Susan says good morning, Susan says dryer morning in Derbyshire, Nikki says morning all, Paula says morning John the team from Paula in Deep Car, morning John from Adal and Jury Stockbridge in Hampshire says Pauline, Glennie says morning John and team, Lindsay says morning lovely people, great that we have this show to cheer us up on a wet weekend, Emily says morning John and everyone, looking forward to the morning show. I loving the look of that dress. Glennie says, loving your shirt, John. Jackie's joined us. Laurie says, morning, John and team. Lovely, colourful shirt. 
Hazel says, morning, John and everyone. Claire says, morning. Lynn Twitt says, good morning, everyone. We have a price comparison for you here. Okay, on the Long River, you can buy six of them for £9.86. £9.86 for six of them. Okay? And we're doing eleven ninety eight for 12 Makes sense. I'll just let you keep going through. There's loads of you coming in. Loads of them. I'm not surprised. Because when you... Hannah buys these in bulk. Don't you, Hannah? For her EPP work at home. Mind you, you see, she only does her EPP when she's sad, she says. And she's happy today. Well, happy-ish. Well, she'll be even happier. She loves the weekends. She loves the weekends because she gets... Are we not working next weekend, then? I am. <laughs> Oh, Hannah's got three... Oh, is it bank holiday weekend? Hannah's got three days off. I'm in the Saturday and Sunday. Rebecca reads in on the Monday next week. £11.98. I know. I know. Oh, because start singing hi-ho then, wasn't I? £11.98. You get both of these. You get both. You're saving you £2. And as I say, your P&P is paid for for the day. Now, remember, these do fit in your sew line pen and... Your prim pen. Oh, you haven't got a sew line pen, you say. Well, stay right there. Stay right there. Quarter of the stock has been checked out. Denise says, good morning, lovely man. My day off, so I'm looking forward to today's show. Denise, it's packed, I can't tell you. Carol's on our bottom. Here you go. Morning, John. Been up all night with worry and upset. Oh, no, Carol, what's the matter? So pleased to have you on today. Cheer my day. Loving your bright shirt. It's gemstones, have you seen? It's all different gemstones. Oh, yeah, now Hannah's had a bit away. I don't want to demean yours, Carol, by any means. There's the shirt. There's the close-up of the shirt, look. So when, you see, because me, Elliot and Hannah all used to work in jewellery. We're all GIA trained. Well, I am. Oh, I am. They're not, sorry. Um, Hannah's a bit upset because in her dream last night, she was auditioning for X Factor and she didn't know the song. They only, she only uh, remembered one line, so she just kept shouting that one line. And they knew they were bad, right? She was with friends from school who she doesn't even talk to anymore. Uh, or some of them, anyway. And uh, anyway, they thought that, because we're so bad, let's shout in the faces of the, of the judges. That'll make them an impression, right? So that was, that was Hannah's dream. Yeah, oh, they were taken off the show. I was in Batman the Musical. I was in Batman the Musical on a, on a cruise liner, and Serena from Great British Sownby was in it with me. It was fantastic. It was a fan great big round set like this. It was lovely. We were having such a brilliant time. In it. We're actually in it. We weren't making the costumes. We were in it. Anyway, I, don't, we never, I never saw Batman. I only saw us. We were the, just the chorus, you know what I mean? We weren't starring. Right. Uh, Lynn says, good morning, John. Our sewing... Oh, I thought that... I thought that said, morning, John. Our sewing street pimp. It's our sewing street pin-up. Pin-up. Geraldine says, hello, John. Never want the colours in your shirt make you pop. Gorgeous, you're looking very well. Claire says, gorgeous shirt. Will these fit the glue pen I bought from Sewing Street? It's a Prim Aqua glue marker. Christine. Yes. Yes. Uh, the best jewel is wearing it, but you're a diamond. Oh, thank you, Geraldine. Good morning, John and team. Gorgeous shirt. Looking forward to today's demos. Have a lovely day, so soon. Christine says, morning from Cleethorpes. Oh, I think I went to Cleethorpes when I was little. Over half the stock's gone. Okay, when you've all checked out, that will have sold out. That will have sold out once you've all checked out. But now, somebody should start about the glue pen. We haven't had this in for ages and ages and ages. Very, very quickly, here's the glue pen. Six nine nine. Now you do get, it has got a glue in it, and you get one glue refill in there, blue one. Six ninety nine. There's the pen if you want the right pen to put it in. If you love EPP or doing drunkards pathways, these are brilliant. Okay, hang on. Okay, Hannah's just taking us on a tangent now, everyone. Brand new EPP book. Well, it's not brand new. We've shown that one. Brand new, brand new EPP book on the website if you love EPP to go with your glue. And you know why Hannah's showing it? She wants it. She wants that book. That's why Hannah's showing it. Right, very quickly. Come on, got lots to do. Sharon says, good morning from a wet, wet York West Yorkshire. Oh, that's where you're from, isn't it, West Yorkshire? Uh, morning, gorgeous team, says Leslie. Right, OK, let's move on, because I've got to do panel of the week as well. You know the panel of the week? Um, it's here. 
Uh, it's only until... What day is it today? I, was, I keep thinking it's Sunday today. It's only until tomorrow. After tomorrow night, it goes up in price to 19.99. They are two and a half inch strips. They're, uh, well, they call it red, white and blue, but there's cream in there. Red, white and blue. Uh, they're all two and a half inches wide. They're 55 inches in length, 100% cotton. It's like having your own design roll or jelly roll for 12.99. Oh, Leslie, hang on a minute. Leslie's sitting in bed, getting over knee surgery. Let's have a look at Leslie. Leslie, put your leg down. She's got, she's got it in one of those things after her knee surgery. Anyway. Twelve ninety-nine. Goes up to nineteen ninety-nine tomorrow night. Elizabeth says, hello, lovely, wet and dark in Wakefield. Brighter now you're on. Oh, Elizabeth, thank you. You're very kind to me. Right, okay. Right, let's have a look at today's menu because we've got loads to do. Brand new guests coming up. Right, so with Beth, that's the next, uh, uh, this, uh, that's this first hour. Um, cushion kits with Beth. Oh, they, oh. Right, this really makes me angry, right? I emailed <coughs> the publicity team this week and said, you spelt her name wrong. They said, don't worry, we'll sort it. Sorry, Beth, they've spelt your name wrong. They've spelt your name wrong. And I'm not picking on the publicity. They'll shout at me for saying that. But I did point it out at the beginning of the week and it's not been changed. So back to the menu. So we got So With Beth, brand new, brand new um, client, I was going to say then, guest. Cushion kits with Beth Miller. Then at night, oh, I'll show you the cushion, actually. There it is. Gorgeous. Got it in two different colourways. There's Elliot's um, close-ups. There you go. Uh, that's the first hour. The second hour is the Petworth dress with Mark Francis. It's a Sussex seamstress. There it is. Lovely. Beautiful. Oh, oh, what's that picture? That's unusual. Oh, there we go. Lovely. That's at nine o'clock. Then at ten o'clock, Beth is back. So with Beth, sash coat with Beth Miller. Uh, and that one, we're making a table runner. And we're making coasters. Beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. Then, carry on. We've then got the Elsie trousers with Mark Francis. So the Elsie trousers are a Fiona Hesford pattern. There they are. They're lovely. We've got them denim. We've got some denim and we've got some um, viscose. Oh, and we've got the most beautiful, <coughs> excuse me, checked fabric in that hour. Oh, it's already going. It's already going. I'll show you that when we do the things. Then at 12, 12 o'clock, we run all the way down to the Yarn Lane studios and we do eye knit designs with Denny Gould. We are doing children's knitwear today. Children's knitwear. Now, I've got, I've got a competition today as well. All you have to do is buy between midnight last night and midnight tonight and three names will be picked out of the hat and each of you will win one of these. They're very kindly donated, donated by So With Beth. So that you'll either get this one, this one, or this one. All you have to do is buy something. You don't have to put a code in. You don't have to put your name in or anything like that. Three names will be picked out of the hat. And on Monday's show, they will be announced. Be announced. Buy anything. Buy anything at all from the website or from the show. Anything. Your names will go. There you go. Shop on Saturday, 22nd of May from midnight. Well, that's the midnight just gone to 23.59 tonight. One person will win one of each. Of you know what I mean? You'll win one of those. Random, you'll win one of those and your name will be announced on Monday's show. Three ways you can get in touch. First way is by the email. There you go, studio at sewingstreet.com. Second way is by Facebook Live, which ones I've been reading out. Um, morning, John, fabulous shirt, having coffee and toast in bed. Oh, watch the crumbs, Margaret. Good morning, says Julie. Good morning, says Donna. Good morning, says Bernadette. Oh, love your gemstones. I like crystal healing. Oh, yes, I'll be, I'll be sending out healing to everybody today. The third way is if you go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com, click on Watch the Show Live, and then you'll see a little box on the right-hand side there. You just send the message there, write your message in, and they're the ones... Oh, Hannah's shouting hello to everyone. Hello, boyfriend. No, that joke was yesterday. <laughs> Unless she's sending out a subliminal message to another man called John. OK, now if you scroll down, and, and that's the white box that comes across the bottom screen. Right, scroll down the page. You will see there's the early bird about to sell out, by the way. If you, 
and it's the best seller. So now there are two columns there. There's today's show deals, which will show you everything that we have shown so far. And then in the right hand column is everything that's coming up during the day. So there are best, there are best kits from the first hour. Then we've got the pattern, Mark's pattern in the second hour and the fabrics to go with. Then the third hour, uh, Beth is back. There you go. There's Beth's uh, next pattern. So you can buy them now. You can go and buy them now if you can't stick around the whole day. There's the trouser pattern, the So Girl Elsie trouser pattern that we're making later on. And that's, that's it. And then the fabrics, obviously. Oh, well, stop. Look, isn't that lovely? There's a bundle and it's by the half meter. So you get a two and a half meter bundle or you can just buy it by the half meter. Beautiful, isn't it? And then we go to Yarn Lane at 12 o'clock. Um, so, uh, I think that's it now. All that's all the business done. So, now, Beth, I'd let, you, let me show you, Beth, before I introduce Beth, let me just show you what we've got of Beth in this first day. You've already seen it once, the cushion. I've got it in two different colourways, right? I've got it in the grey, which is the one that you saw uh, a minute ago, that Elliot's got the picture of. Oh, he's cheered up now, so he's all chirpy now. There we go. So, this kit will make that cushion. Thank you. Hang on. Do you want the code number? Oh, okay. There it is. There it is. £24.99. You get everything you need bar the cushion pad. Lovely. Fabric instructions in grey. So that's the one you've already seen. The one you're going to be seeing demonstrated is this one, which I, I love both of them, but I really love this one. This is the black one. £24.99. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, John, I'd love that, but I've got my, I've got my own Japanese fabric that I bought from you a couple of weeks ago that I'd love. Remember the, the tiger fabric and things like that we had a couple of weeks? Well, I've got the pattern on its own as well, look. Now, the pattern comes with the little charm inside it. So when you open the packet, do not forget that the little charm is in there. $9.99. There's the charm. Where is it on the cushion? Did you not do a close-up, Elliot, to the charm? Can you see it? There it is. There it is. Top corner. Top left-hand side. Right, okay, now. Now to introduce Beth. Because Beth's brand new today. <coughs> She's uh, been a viewer for a while, I believe. And uh, yeah. Well, anyway, let's introduce her first. This is Beth, everyone. Say hello, Beth. Hi. <laughs> Hi. So, before we start, who have we got to say hello to? Lily. Yes. Yeah. So, Lily's your daughter. Yeah. She should be going to work this morning. So, get yourself ready for work. And this much. Do what's that? That much. That much. That what? means I love her that much. Because Nothing can come between us. Oh, I thought you said you'd go like that. I love you that oh, much. Oh, no, 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 no. Nothing can come between us. So she's a student, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she's at Huddersfield University doing occupational therapy. Uh huh. But she comes home every weekend to go to work at the garden centre. Oh, and she's at work today. She's at work today. Yeah. So let's tell, tell me a bit about yourself then. How did you get into the sewing and everything like that? Um, I've been sewing all my life. My nan taught me to sew before she passed away when I was five oh, to my start God. with. Um, but then the lovely lady over the way from me, she carried on teaching me, Jean, and she's in her 90s now, and oh. she's my quilting buddy, as I call her. Oh. Um, Is she still doing it now? She's still quilting now she's, at 90? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's, because Jean used to teach as well, so she's brilliant. Um, and then I went into theatre and schools, teaching in schools, and so even my first act, the job was a haberdashery shop. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can't get away from it. <clears throat> and how um, did So With Beth start then? So With Beth started because um, I got MS. Okay. And I couldn't go back to work and so I wanted something to do. And so um, I thought, well, what better can I do than just put things together and design things? So I did. And it's just grown from there, really. How brilliant. And now yeah. you're here? Yeah. Fantastic. Right, okay, so we're going to demonstrate the black one today, aren't we? Yes. They're both beautiful. So in the packet, what do you get everything you need in the packet? Yes, you get everything you need in the packet. I've, I've pre-cut all the bits I need today, so right. that because you don't want to see me cutting lots of bits. Okay, but you I'll get, do open this one actually. Yeah, yeah, I've got spare bags to put them back in afterwards. Oh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Oh, there goes the charm. <laughs> so 
You get three embroidery threads. Yeah, you, get you won't a need needle. And it. needle. Now, is that little bit of felt just for the needle or is it part of the pattern? No, that's just to keep the needle. Okay, perfect. Then you've got a piece of white fabric. That's for your Lovely feet. piece of like fern green fabric in that one. Yeah. Love this. This is beautiful. So now, as you say, you've not cut them for us, have you? You just cut them for us. No, I've yeah, just given you plenty. You've got plenty because, as you can see from these bits here, you don't need all of what you've got. Okay, perfect. So you've got plenty bits. Um, and then you've got your, enough for your back. Yeah, that, that's the black, yeah. And your, oh, hang on, I've got calico as well. Yeah, um, your calico is. I, I back my. Um, Embroidery. Right. I just put that on the back just for stability because I don't like using a hoop. Oh, okay. So you um, use a, have something behind it to keep the yeah, structure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I mean, you don't have to use it if you want to use a hoop. It's up to you. Okay. But then as well, because I've not put any wadding in between, um, so that it gives the actual cushion itself a bit more stability. I've put a piece of calico to cover the whole. Back. Oh, that's why there's two pieces of calico. Yeah, so that the so you don't have raw edges on the inside. Oh, lovely. Because that way you're not going to have any sort of little bits that can snag and come undone. And then the, the instructions are incredibly thorough. I mean, there's so much writing and so many. Hang on, I'll show you. There's so much writing and so many pictures. Look. I tried. It's brilliant. Now, what's the charm then? It's just a little handmade charm thing, just to Aww. stick on, just to. So that you know you've made it yourself. It's only a weeny little thing. No, no, it's cute. It's cute. But make sure you, when you open the bag, <coughs> it's in the bag. Whether you buy the pattern or buy the kit, it's in the bag. So just be careful about that. And then what's this in here? That's your template. And um, there should be some um, stitch instructions. Yeah, brilliant. So that's for the little embroidery on the front then? Yeah. So now that's not an iron-on. That's just a draw. draw that's through just a draw. One. But because... Your, your white fabric, you can literally just lay it over the top. And you can see it and through. And you can see it through. Fantastic. So, but I, I did it that way rather than marking it on, because that way you've got it to reuse. As yeah, many exactly. Times no, as no, you no, you've got it all the time then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Beautiful. And also, you might want, as you say, you reuse it on other projects and things yeah. like that. <clears throat> okay, so where do we start? You say you've cut everything out. Yes, I've cut everything out. Um, and then I always start by doing the embroidery bit really before I've cut the rest of it out. Okay. So that I don't lose my bits. Um, and then what I've done is I've um, laid the um, white over the top of your template. Yeah. And I've just used a heat erasable pen. Okay. To mark it on. Like a friction pen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, if you haven't got one, you could technically use a pencil, right. but just do it very faintly because you're going to have to cover up your pencil marks um, and they might not rub out. Oh, so okay. it is better if you can use a proper friction pen. Mm -hmm. um, and then just embroider. Now, I've it's simple because I like to see if I can get as many people sewing as possible. Okay, nice. And so I don't want to make things complicated for people. So it's literally back stitch I've done some chain stitch in there right um but you don't have to do the chain stitch but that's what the other sheet is isn't it it's showing you how to do yeah, so if you've never done chain stitch well don't be frightened because you've got the, the instructions for how to do it in your pack. no and then there's just on the spout of the watering can yeah there are some little dots and they're gonna be um french knots right okay so so we, you start off with the um embroidery now we'll start now all your threads it comes in your embroidery threads now you want to cut yourself a, a piece um a workable piece about 18 inches long i usually think uh -huh. and then divide it down now for the outside of the watering can i just split it in half right. so you've got three strands um and then for the um flowers hearts and lettering i split it so that you've got two strands okay when you get your thread if you when you're dividing it down i'll just do a, a yeah yeah a little bit if you pull it individually like that yeah and then pull another one right then 
you won't get your, your threads all twisted together. Oh, so don't pull three at a time, Mr. Town, two at a time. Well, no, you, you can divide it like that, yeah. but you can get it all twisted. So if you pull them individually, uh -huh. then you will, then it can lie flat yeah, next perfect. to each other and give you a better finish. Lovely. So, um, I can start with some of the lettering. No, it's not there. Yeah, you're perfect there. So it, it, all the lettering, all the um, watering can and flowers, uh -huh. they're all just a back stitch. Okay. Which is, you literally, you go in. Now, for the lettering, it's quite small. You want to keep them, try and keep them nice and small. Uh -huh. So that you can go around the curves. So you, you go in and out. And then you're going back in that first hole and out the half again in front. Mm -hmm. Christine says, welcome, Beth, to the show. Welcome to the family. Thank you. She's lying in bed, watching in bed. Gary's off his second jab. <clears throat> Dominique says, good morning. Uh, Bernadette's, hi Beth, lovely items, we'll have a great show. Then she's put, they are funny people, so remember to try and laugh along with them. <laughs> I think she's talking about <laughs> us there. Derek says, good morning, Anna, Elliot, John and Beth, it's good to be able to join you live. Still snuggled in bed with one of the cats, Dean. Julie says, good morning, Beth, John and team. Good morning, says Donna. So lots of people June, joining in with us today. Right, okay, we'll carry on with the stitching. So... So it is, it is it's, it's, it's quite mindful and you can yep. lose yourself quite easily. Uh -huh. As I say, I don't like using an embroidery hoop right? because it can sometimes sort of stretch and distort it. Uh -huh. But that's why I've put a piece of calico to the back. And I'm not one of these people who's precious about the back of my work Okay. because it's not going to be seen anyway. No and you've got an extra bit of calico to cover over the back, so, so it really, matter. really nobody's going to see And it. also, as you're going through two layers, it's not going to, sometimes you go through one layer, you can see where you've jumped stitches, you can see it behind, can't you? Because you've got the calico, you, nobody's going to see it from no. the front or the back, are they? No. Jackie no. says, welcome, Beth, good morning. Bernadette says, welcome. Oh no, Bruder Felt, uh, that's Clive, says, good morning, everyone. So you've, so you've just got, uh, have you got three colours in that section there? I have. Right. We've got, now the, the flowers are all just done in the pink and again they're just backstitched. Hang on, we'll just come to that, have a look, there you go, perfect. Yeah. Um, the watering can itself is just backstitched, yeah. apart from the um, French knots yeah. there. Um, but in the flowers, they're just the odd line Oh, you go. I can see it on mine. There you go. Oh, you've got. Oh, you've got one finished there. Yeah, the odd line that's green. Oh, I see. And that's your stems for your flowers, and you've got a whole skein yes. of each. Yeah. So you've got plenty. plenty. So you can do plenty more of them as well if you're wanting to. I love the way the pink is variegated as well. So your flowers aren't all a solid pink. They're all going through the different kind of pinks and things. Yeah. And then just two sort of give the watering can a bit more sort of interest. I just did one heart of each colour, and it doesn't matter which one you do. Yeah. Um, as a chain stitch and in like a green one and a pink one. Yeah. And, a, and I even did a black chain stitch one. So that's just to like kind of um, highlight them a little yeah, bit. Yeah, just, just for a bit of difference. Okay, so you. So how long would that take you to do, that whole... This? Yeah, that panel that you're doing uh, there. Couple of evenings, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just sat there watching television, minding my own business. <laughs> I can't imagine that ever happened. Well, yeah, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. Depends whether or not I let him have the TV controls. Yeah, oh, I see. Uh, good morning, everyone, says Barbara McClay. Welcome, Beth. You've got a really calm nature and it's a pleasure to watch you, and your nails are fabulous. Oh, thank you. That's from Barbara McClay. One of our experts. My, my friend who does my nails will be really pleased to hear who that. Who does your nails then? Martina. And is she in a shop or she does them at home? Yeah, she does. She's got it. She's in a shop. Where's her shop then? It's uh, just outside Bradford on the Moors. Okay. Just That's near very me. Nice. 
Yeah, our kids went to school together, so. Oh, Diana says, lovely to see Beth on her first day. What a lovely lady she is, and gorgeous nails, and love the kits. What Thank a lovely you. lady, says Helen. Welcome to Sewing Street. Hello, John, be kind to Beth. What's that supposed to mean? Just in case, I guess. Yeah, well, nothing can mean, you see. It's because I pick on Elliot and Hannah all the time. <laughs> they deserve it. Yeah. They give us good back. Oh, thank you. Thank you. They give us good back. She's seen it going on this morning, see, Beth has. Only a little bit. <laughs> and says, morning, everyone. Uh, Beth, John, is the pattern an iron on transfer? No, and, and it's, you can, it's, a, it's the right way round and you trace it through onto the fabric. But the fabric, you can see it through the fabric. Use a friction pen. Yeah, yeah, it's, it is really. I've done it in, an, in, a, in a decent thickness yeah. so that you can actually Look, really you see it see through. It uh, so, yeah. And so. then what you do is after you traced it off, you then put your piece of calico behind and stitch through the cotton and the calico so you're not there, you see. Yeah. Perfect. All right, so once we've finished that, what do we do once we've made that pa panel? Once you've done that panel and you've done all your stitching, yeah. did you want me to do a chain stitch? Or? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Sorry. Yes, please. There's me jumping in. Yeah, sorry. that's all right. Right, your chain stitch, yeah, you're going to create a little loop. Now, you're going to go in where you came out, create a loop, yeah. and then bring your needle up through that loop so it's right. tucked round. Oh. And then you're going to do the same again. Go in through where you came out, up sort of two or three millimetres. It's not a big stitch. Yeah. And then create, put your needle in through the loop and round. Brilliant. And with those hearts, I started at the bottom and went to the top. Uh -huh. And then started at the bottom again and went oh, to the top, don't carry rather around. than going all the way around. Because I just figured it looked nicer having the chains going up the oh, same yes, way either side. Oh, yes, because your chains were coming downwards. Yeah. You went round, carried on, they looked different. I mean, you can so. do. Yeah. Yeah. You can do. But I just thought it made, it made the heart look more even um, going up either side. Welcome, lovely, lovely Yorkshire lass, Beth, says Sue. Uh, Dominique says, I love your nails too. I'm sitting by the fire <laughs> doing sewing this morning. Christine says, brilliant camera work. <laughs> Saying nothing. A message on the bottom very quickly. Lovely lady, love her demo, and welcome to Sewing Street, says Michelle. Thank you, That's everybody. nice, isn't it? And also, Anne says, is the pattern available separately? It certainly is. <laughs> Actually, let me do a roundup now. Let me do a roundup of everything we've got. So the pattern on its own is here. So you can get the pattern on its own, Anne. Remember your charm is inside there for your 9 99 So that's all your instructions you need in there. Then I've got the, the actual cushion in two different colourways. One to the grey one first, which is the one that's here. Grey is the most popular at the moment. Grey is the most popular. So in there you get all the fabric you need. You get your calico, you get a needle, you get three embroidery skeins. Um, and your instructions and a st at the, te the um, template for the jug plus a stitch directory for the embroidery stitches. And the instructions, are, I'll show you in a minute when I do the black one, it's so full of photos and written instructions and everything like that. Kate says, at last I can sit down and relax watching some soothing hand sewing. It's gorgeous. Welcome, Beth. She said she had a fretful week running back and forth to hospital with her mum. Oh, no. Reggie the dog's in bed. Right. That, that's this one. That'd be where my dogs are. Hmm? That'd be where my dogs are. Oh, have you got dogs? I've got two little Yorkshire Terriers. Oh. One's only four pounds. She's literally that big. Oh. She's tiny. Will she grow to be a bit bigger? No, no. She's fully grown. That's it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, no. She's fully grown. Oh. Hannah uh, uh, says next time you come in, will you bring the dogs with you? <laughs> me a photo. Aww. I don't think you'd want them in the studio. They're well, no, nuts. but you could come in, meet Hannah, yeah. and you could go. They'd yeah, leave they're, 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 they're completely bonkers. You wouldn't want them around. Oh. They're then we've got the black kit here. So this one is this one here, which I've already opened. So you get your three skeins. They're different colours in here. Three coloured skeins, your needle. you got your calico. You've got your charm. You've got your instructions, which I'll show you in a minute. You've got your black fabric there. Oh, hang on. Don't lose the charm, John. 
Then you've got the lovely floral. You've got the beautiful green and the little white there. This is your main cushion here in the black. And then look at these instructions. That, the fact, so first of all, there's your template for the jug and the flowers. And then there's your in stitch information sheet. Hannah said she'd change it and put Keith can't buy me flowers. That's what she'd put. <laughs> As a, you know, kind of a message for the, any young men that might be interested in buying their flowers. And we look at the instructions. Very, very thorough. All about your cutting, everything you need to know. Are you all right there? My, my packet's all right. Okay. We'll just keep looking at this. There you go. All right? Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Right, okay, so that's the black uh, kit there, uh, which is also very popular. Brand new uh, today, all brand new today, and um, the grey is still in the lead, though. Grey is still in the lead. Right, so once we've done the panel, what do we do next, then? Right, once we've done the panel, I tend to lay all my pieces out, and once I've cut them, sorry, I cut them first, and yeah, then yeah, I lay them out, yeah. uh, just to make sure I've got everything. There is enough in the kit to swap these two colours around. Oh, okay. If you don't want to do them in this order, right. you can sort of do it so that they're these those Other way two around. In, in the grey as well. Okay, so, so in this one, if you wanted the floral on the outside and then yeah. that lovely kind of ombre shade on that side, there you, could, you can swap them around. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, on both of them. Yeah. So, let's... Uh, Get my foot pedal. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Finding your foot pedal. Yells. So you lay it all out. Lay it all out, and then yeah. your first two pieces you want to sew are your sides. Okay, brilliant. And everything is put together so that it's a quarter of an inch seam, seam allowance, allowance. and that it's all allowed for in the measurements. Lovely. Um, Crazy Terrain says, morning, lovely cushion, welcome Beth. Um, Derek says, the dogs sound wonderful, you must send in a video. <laughs> yeah, uh, Geraldine says, Beth, you're doing great, John will look after you. Yes, see, I'm not going to be nasty, like someone said earlier. I shall see who that was. And oh, and uh, Lorraine loves your pin cushion. <laughs> yeah. Did you make that yourself? Yeah, it, it was a pattern out of some. I can't even remember where I got it from now. Oh. It was, I'd done quilt and things from my daughter's bedroom, so it's what was left over. That's its tail that you see in there, everyone. It's got a head as well. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I put, I put my um, clips on the tail, on yeah. the, on the in, in legs. So, you so a piece down each side. Right. As part of a frame. It's quite nice, this machine, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lovely machine, that one. Six, uh, it's a 570. Yeah, 560. Oh, 560 you've got now. 560, sorry. They're all, we've got the, well, when we get them back in stock, 550, 560, 570. Have you not got them in stock at the minute, then? No, because there's been such a, because the pandemic, there's been such a rush on machines and everything. They're slowly coming back in again now, though. What's the matter, Elliot? No. And then you want to set your seams. Right. Just by just going over it just slightly. Uh -huh. And then I just... If you just fold it over that way yeah. and give it a nice press, that'll make sure that it's the seams are all folded over to the dark side. Yep, lovely. The Star Wars side, as my husband would say. I've got the iron in tomorrow's show, if you want the iron, but it's available on the website today. Remember, everyone who buys something today goes in the competition and you could win one of Beth's patterns. Or kits, they're not patterns, they're kits, there you go. Yeah, full kits. Full kits. Three people will, eat, will each win one of those just by shopping today. Okay, so you've done the two sides. Done the two sides and then you want to, I think this machine isn't quite, is it? 
quarter inches. Oh, quarters. no, it'll be the, they're all different quarter inches, aren't they? Yeah. I'm just going to quickly whiz down these again. Okay. Just to make them a bit tighter. Nice message from Lynn going across the bottom. My daughter is a florist, so this cushion is going to be perfect for her, says Lynn in Cleveland. Oh, yeah, that's nice. What a lovely thought. Now, Lynn, you're getting the, uh, the grey one or the black one, or you're getting the pattern. There's the grey one. The grey one is still very much in the lead. It's quite popular as grey at the moment, isn't yeah, it? Oh yeah, totally. Oh, Stuart says, morning, John. Lovely to meet somebody new. Well done, Beth. You'll have fun with John. Oh, he's looking forward to Eurovision tonight. How are they going to do Eurovision? I don't know how they're going to do it. Because they're going to have an audience. Carefully. Um, it's so lovely to see you, Beth. I love your patterns. You. And nice to put a face to the name, says Christine. Morning, says Margaret to you both. Welcome to Sewing Street, Beth. Love your nails and your dress is beautiful. <laughs> Such a calm demo from Margaret uh, from Thornaby on Tees. Uh, the pink cushion is lovely. Oh, ben, Beth, can you remember where the pattern is called? Oh, Anne, asking lots of questions this morning. Um, the tulips behind Beth. Yes, they're the Alice and Marion ones. They're available on the website. Right, right that's better. So then you want to add your top and bottom pieces. Okay. Oh, so they're different, aren't they? They're not the same. They're, um... No, the, the, the top and the bottom ones are in the next round of colour. Okay. So... Of course, yeah, I see what you if mean. If you add your top and bottom and then you add your cornerstones yep. to the side ones. Brilliant. And now I know which is the, three, is the quarter seam on this. It'd be easier. Yeah, it's funny how we, all machines are different, isn't it? Yeah. Because yeah, the Mar Alice and Marion did the demo on the 14th of February for the tulips. Oh, they're having 3,000 people limited to 3,000. And limited delegation. Oh, there you go. I shan't be watching. Do you not like you? No, I love it, but I have to go to bed. I have to be up at half past four to come in here. I can't stay up much later than half past four. You've got to be up at half past four? Yeah, yeah. The alarm goes off at half past four. I didn't get up till six today. No, but I have to be in before you, you see. All right, OK. <laughs> I'll let you off then. Let me off. What's the matter, Hannah? I don't think Hannah gets up till, you know, same time as you. I get Martin to set the alarm for me. Oh. So who's Martin? Martin's my amazing husband. Oh. We met very quickly this morning. Yes, you did. He's the bag carrier, organiser. He's gone back to the hotel for his breakfast. We'll be back later. Yeah, bless him. Right, so you add your, your top and your bottom. Right. And it comes together really quite quickly. Yeah. The longest bit is the... The embroidery. The bit in the middle, yeah. But I quite like the fact that it's not just a two-minute job. Yeah, oh, yes, exactly, exactly. You tend to feel like you're getting a better deal if it's going to take you a bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> or I do. That's true Yorkshire in me, isn't it? Hey, That's the true Yorkshire in me, Ah, it, it is indeed. You've got to get a better deal. Do you know what? It was really funny because when I, I went, my first college was in West Yorkshire and I remember getting on a bus for the first time and where I grew up in Chester, nobody spoke to each other on the bus. And I got on the bus and like everyone was, hey up duck. And everyone was chatting. Oh no, that's more Derbyshire, is it? Oh, is it? Oh no, maybe the man who I sit next to was Derbyshire. So what do you say in West Yorkshire then? Oh, um, hang on. I don't really know. Oh, okay. They want, everyone chatted on the bus, that's what yeah. we're saying. Yeah, everyone yeah, was very, very talks. friendly. I loved being there. And now Lynn, who's making the cushion for her florist daughter, message. Uh, I'm buying the pattern as a business is called the English Garden and I have some beautiful fabric named the English Garden. She's, oh, Lynn, that'd be lovely. Really nice. 
All right, so I've chain pieced these corners. Uh -huh. um, Graham White is my house, and my daughter's extension is now being done in Graham White. It's very popular, says Crazy Lorraine. Why do you set seams, please, says Claire. Why do you set seams? You set your seams just to lie the stitches into, so, so that it, it just gives a neater finish. We well, kind of embeds the stitching yeah. into the fabric, doesn't it? And it, when, when you press it back, it just sort of makes it lie flatter. Yeah. Or I think it does anyway. Uh, the camera above your head is going absolutely crazy. It's spinning round. Don't worry. Is that my fault? No. That's no, Elliot. Oh, right. Okay. Does Feel Elliot get blamed for everything? Yes. Because okay. normally it's his fault. Right. Okay. Yeah. He also fixes it as well. I have not an I love you yet today from him though, so he's obviously in a bad mood. Oh dear. You don't get you normally get an I love you. By now I'd have had one, yeah. Right. Right, so when you get to this next stage, yeah. you, you're wanting to match your seams. Right, of course, yeah. Um because that they're your little so I mean you can either pin them or clip them. I like to clip mine. Okay, we would show you that the camera's just playing up a little bit. It's not Elliot's. Oh, there you go. We're back. We're back. They perfect, perfect. I'm trying to keep my head out of the way. No, don't worry. You're doing brilliantly. Do you have your nails that long all the time? Yeah. And don't do housework then. Yeah. Oh, so you're going to say Martin does the housework. Well, he does do. He does all the ironing. Oh, does he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a deal. <laughs> Yeah, no, because I used to work in wardrobe in theatre. I did quite a lot of ironing. Uh-huh. So oh, tell he, me about it, because I used to as well. Yeah. Right? And so the deal was he could he would do all the ironing as long as he could watch whatever he wanted to watch on television. Uh, so sci-fi channels come out, you see. Oh. So I just vacate the lounge. Yeah, exactly. Go and do your so, sewing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. So he does all the ironing, which is brilliant. Yeah. Fine with me. When I, uh, when I worked on Four Weddings and a Funeral, we had one of us had to go in at half past three every morning because there were so many shirts to iron for every, because every scene had crowds of um, wedding goers in. Did you, did you have all the individual starched collars as well? Uh, not for Four Weddings, but we did for Poirot. They were all, uh, all oh, the, uh, yeah. They were a major nightmare. Yeah. If I'm having to sort of dip starch them and... Mm. And yeah. it's a dying art. You try you, and nowadays trying to get it, even buy them is a nightmare. You know what I mean. But trying to actually buy the starts to do it to do with it as in, well. Yeah, exactly. And then we used to we used to pin them onto the um, like uh, wig mannequin. Yes, things that's right. Yeah. Round, stretch them round. Yeah. <sighs> Hours they yeah. used to take. And yeah, then but isn't working in theatre fabulous? Oh, it's the best job ever. I, I know. I, I, they, yeah. I just absolutely adored it. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's it's one of the best jobs ever. Yeah. And you get to meet all sorts of weird and wonderful <laughs> people. <laughs> yes. Which, where did you work in theatre then? Um, West Church Playhouse in Leeds. Oh, fantastic. Oh, lovely theatre. Yeah. Yeah, because we had two theatre. We had two. Yeah. Because we've got the, co um, the courtyard in the main. Oh, brain's gone. Yeah, don't mind. worry. No, no, it's a lovely theatre. A lot of people that I trained with at Bretton Hall went to work there afterwards because a lot of people went to Bretton Hall, loved West Yorkshire so much, never moved away. They just stayed there forever. In fact, you know, um, uh, Gillian Wright, who plays Jean in EastEnders, she used to do a lot of I the West Yorkshire. I don't watch EastEnders. Oh, oh, she was at Bretton Hall and she was in, she was in um, uh, the West Yorkshire Playhouse quite a lot when we first finished college. That's probably... Hmm? That's probably before Oh, yeah, me. before you. She's older than you, yeah. Yeah. Um, what's the matter, Elliot? Oh, I was leaning out of shot. Well, I have to... I have to sh over there, there we go. Uh, Margaret says, Good morning, John. Oh, I had a bit of a bad night, so stayed in a bit later. You're looking like a jewellery box full of treasures today. Now, Margaret, you, I think you live, you live near each other. Margaret lives in Heck... Heckman Dwight? Yeah. I've never known how to say it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's over, the, over the top. Oh, OK. I'm on the, I'm on the moors outside Bradford. Sort of in between, near Haworth. Oh, lovely. 
So. Yeah. My oh, Neil, you live near Miami, who is um, Hannah's best friend, and also Sheila, my model at Pavers. She lives in oh, under uh, something under. No. She's no, no. She's just moved. I can't remember where she's moved to. But anyway, she loves it around there. And Jenny Smith right, lives around that way, near more more towards Bradford than Huddersfield. Uh, hi team, great show. Welcome to Beth. Please tell her questions are not nosiness, just getting to know oh, her no. initiation. The more questions, the more acceptance she's in. Oh blimey, no, I love just chatting. I'm you an open chatting. book. Yeah, I'm an yeah, open exactly. book. It's the best way, isn't I've it? got I've got nothing to hide. No, exactly. Well not that I know of anyway. <laughs> I wouldn't normally sew it in green, by the way. I'm doing that just so that you can see the stitches. Yeah, that's stitches. good. Burley in Wharfdale. That's where my, oh, that's that's where my that, friend Sheila lives. Because I grew up in Ilkley. Oh, right. And Burley's only about four miles away. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Christopher is watching. said, the first theatre we ever worked in was the Bradford Alhambra. And it's the wardrobe was the heart of me. every theatre. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, he was always hanging around when he worked at Colchester with us, he was always in the costume department. Yeah, I worked at um, the Coventry Belgrade Theatre for oh, a did while you? as well, yeah. Not for long, I only did, was it Peter Pan and 15 Streets then? Uh huh. Which was quite a while ago. Yeah. So. But it is, it's an amazing job, yeah. isn't it? Have you got any training then? Or is it just, just your name? Um, I went to um, college in, to start with. Yeah. Um, and did fashion design. Um, and then, no, not really. Yeah. The rest of it, were, did a lot of on tra on job training. Yeah, yeah. Well, sometimes that's the best way, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I learned but more. I, I learned a lot at Wimbledon School of Art. You, when you're thrown into it, you, you yeah. suddenly learn an awful lot more, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. And then when I finished working in the theatre, um, because obviously you can't really have a family in a the theatre. You can't afford to live, really, if you work in the theatre. There's well, no money. Well, but the, well, it wasn't so much the money, it was the hours. Yeah. Because if you've got a get-in to do, mm -hmm. then it's like 84 hours a week, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, totally. So it's like, wow. Yeah. And so you can't have a family. No. And so when Lily came along, it was like, okay, buy, buy theatre. Oh. Um, I won't swap it for the world. No. Um, but... Yeah, sorry, I went on to do um, wedding dresses. Oh, wow. Um, and did quite a lot of wedding dresses and things. Yeah. When I worked in theatre, that's how I uh, in supplemented my income, was making wedding dresses for people. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? Right. OK. So let's have a look at what we're doing now. So we've done, we're carrying on with the next border. We've done the, the floral one. Is there another border to go on now, then? There's the green one to yeah, go on lovely. now. How long have we got, please, uh, Hannah? OK. We're out right of time. Five or six minutes on demo. All right, OK. Thank you. Well, do you want me to explain it then? Yeah, you've got five, five, six minutes, a long time. But you... Because we've got yeah. we've got two more borders, so you want to stick, put your borders on, yeah. on your cornerstones, yeah. on your two borders, and then you've got your envelope back right. and your calico. Right. So your envelope back is literally... Now, I don't always press it because I'm a bit of a... A rush fanatic sometimes. Right. But you just turn over half inch. Yeah. Twice. Anne says, Morning Beth, lovely demo. Thank you, Anne. Uh, I, I can't tell you today, I'm afraid. Someone else might be able to help you, Anne. She wants to know the date of the Rebecca Reed needle case, case collection. Uh, yeah. Oh, Anne in Chester. And put the, you have to put a shout out. We can't look at it today if we haven't got the graphics to put through to look up the date, I'm afraid. So if anyone else can help Anne, what date did Rebecca Reed do the needle case collection? You know what you can do, um, Anne, is if you go to YouTube and you put in Am Sewing Street Amber Makes, then all of their shows come up, the list of their shows come up. That You could do it maybe that way.
Again, obviously, you do, do this in black normally. Those nails yeah. are brilliant, aren't they? Okay, I love them. I use them as tools more than anything, though. They're what? They're great for put, pushing the um, <laughs> nail. <laughs> but I have to have something sparkly. Oh, yeah, of course. Nikki says, so glad I've got the day off today. I'm loving Beth's calm nature and loving the demo. Oh, thank you. So, yeah. Your two back pieces, you just literally sew a hem. Uh-huh. And then you're going to overlap them. Once, once you've got all your edges on, yeah. you put your calico piece on the back right. that you've been given. And Do you need that, to cut that to size? Is that a bit bigger than it, it is? It is going to be a bit bigger. Now, if you don't want a 20-inch cushion, okay, then you can make it smaller with this last round. Right. And by just taking an inch off, it does explain it in the, in the instructions. Okay. By taking just an inch off each side of the, your final strip, that'll take it down to a, an 18-inch cushion cover. Because it's, it's based on 20-inch. Lovely. Um, and then once you've got all your pieces on, then you put your backing on. And then that's going to hide all your raw edges. And so give all it, your seams, all your embroidery, everything's all covered. Everything's going to be behind there to Brilliant. give it a bit more strength as well. Yeah. And a bit more durability when it's on. Mm -hmm. If you want to add wadding to it, feel free. It's fine. You can do. Yeah. Um, but then, again, if you want to do some quilting into it, you can. I just, um, on that one, I think I just did some, like, echo stitching. And I think I, think I might have done a couple used a couple of fancy stitches you've oh yes you, on on the on your round your um you've done echo stitching around your panel there but when you get to your outside one you've got some like lovely f um i don't know if you can see that on here you've got some really lovely decorative stitches around there brilliant that's, that that isn't necessary that's just because we've got all these fancy machines these days yeah exactly and we don't do anything with them yeah and i just thought why not we just add something to it as well but you don't yeah have to do it. yeah exactly and then once once you've put the back on yeah we'll just pretend that's the whole front you put yeah. your back on obviously right sides facing um and you're going to overlap yeah and sew all the way all around because you turn it through the opening you don't need to yeah leave an opening, do you? you don't need to leave an yeah. opening and then press all your seams so that they're nice and sharp yeah and then sew that all your raw edges are enclosed inside right i did another row of stitching to give it sort of like a bit like that o Oxford pillowcase. Yeah, yeah, like look. Oxford pillowcase, just round there. Oh, yeah, really and it just shot. enclosed all your raw edges that way. Oh, so you like to the French seam as well? Yeah. So everything's inside the seam. Yeah. Brilliant. So there aren't any raw edges inside, so it just gives it that bit more durability, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, uh, Beth, welcome to the family. Welcome to our sewing family, says uh, Lynn. Nails are fabulous, says Lorraine. Couldn't live without sparkles. <laughs> and um, Dominic says, that's what I do. I'm with, no, I'm with you on the sparkle. Right, um, this is a rather lovely cushion. Where would you get this from? Um, that Swedish shop. Oh, yeah, with the meatballs. The meatball shop, yes. Yeah, yeah it's a feather one. They're really cute. Lovely, isn't it? Um, yeah. Now, you've just put your little charm there, but you can put the charm anywhere. Put it anywhere. Really. Yeah, yeah. It's just, a, you don't even have to put it on if you don't want to. No. Oh, hang on. Uh, Elliot would do what? Oh, he'd ha have it hanging off the watering can somewhere, he says, off the handle <laughs> of the watering can. <laughs> Beth, that was brilliant. Thank you ever so much. That's all right. Uh, no Beth's worries. back in an hour's time where we've got a table runner and some coasters to do. But let me just take you through what we had this hour. So I've got the two bundles. I've got the grey bundle to start with. Very, very popular, the grey one. £24.99. Everything you need is in there apart from the cushion pad. So you get your embroidery thread, you get your hand sewing needle, you get your uh, floral fabric, your grey fabrics, you get your background fabric, you get your white fabric, you get calico, instructions, template and even a stitch directory. £24.99. And that's what will that will make. Nice message with Beth on the bottom here. Welcome, Beth. Love the nail and the demo. You're in safe hands with John. He'll look after you from Heidi in Skipton. Oh, another one just down the road. Not far, yeah? No, not far But that at goes out because you're West Yorkshire, are you? Yeah. That's, that's North, North Yorkshire. Yorkshire. So just over the border. Because yeah, I work in York a lot and up yeah, on Poppleton. Yeah, it is lit. Oh, up Poppleton. Yeah. I always wanted to have a little cottage in Upper Poppleton. Oh, did you? Called Poppy Cottage. A Poppy Cottage in Upper Poppleton. You yes. <laughs> that's what I wanted. I just wanted Poppy Cottage in Upper Poppleton. Oh, 
And is there a poppy country there to buy? I have got absolutely no idea. No. All I go past, I see the garden centre, the men who wash the cars outside in the industrial estate, that's all I see in Upper Popple. Right, thing. no, I just, it's just a nice name of yeah, the place. Yeah, exactly, it's, no, it is. It's all the peace. Right, then the black one is here. So this one, you get your black uh, background fabric, you get your needle, you get your embroidery skein, you get your instructions, you get your template, you get your um, uh, needle uh, stitch directory, you get your charm. You get your calico, and then you get, oh, there's your white fabric, there's your green fabric, there's your floral fabric. You get all of that, £24.99. pence. Lovely. And then last but not least, if you want to get the pattern on its own, there it is. 24, no, it's not 24, this is 9 99 9.99. I was going to try and sell you the pattern then for £24.99. £9.99, £9 everything you need, just the, the instructions, the pictures, the template, everything is there, £9.99. Gladys says, lovely demo, Beth, thank you very much indeed. That's all right. Lots of Beth love, isn't it? Right, uh, now Mark Francis up after break, uh, making the, I want to say Pebworth, but that's the village up the road for me. There it is, Pebworth dress. If you're watching Great British Sewing Bee with the buffet dress, very, very similar, isn't it? We will see you in three minutes with Mark from now. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Streets have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again.
Mark's here. Mark's here this morning doing the Sussex Seamstress dress. Uh, you might have seen it on the Facebook page. Uh, there it is. Modelled by? By Laura Orton. Laura Orton. She's my neighbour. Isn't oh, she is lovely? She? She's having she a nice lovely? time, isn't she? She is. She's tidied up as well in the living room, I see. The what? Tidy? She's tidied up in the living room, I see. I was going to say, it's very tidy. It is. First of all, I thought it was yours, and I thought, oh, no, no, because the telly isn't there in yours, is it? <clears throat> it? No, we did try it in our house, but it wasn't looking right. Uh, so we decamped over to her house just across the road. Oh. We did it there. Fabulous. So it is the Petworth dress from the Sussex Seamstress. Uh, pattern's already going. Now, oh, I've got one open. What size does it go from until? Goes from... Not on the front of the pattern. No, it's in, in the, the instructions. It is an 8 to a 22. 8 to 22, this one goes to. 8 to 22. So that's a 116 centimetre bust. Okay, 116 centimetre bust. But it does come up very... Um, uh, Generous, doesn't it? It's quite loose fitting. Yes, yes. I mean, Laura in the video wore it with a belt. Right. Uh, just to kind of style it up. So mm. you could do that. And what size did you make? I made the 14. So right. somewhere now, in the middle. we put the 14 on a size 18 mannequin mm. and it fits beautifully on that sort of thing. Yeah. It? Oh, there it is. There you go. Well, I suppose it might be a bit tight at the top. But you know what I mean? It's like a generous, generous fit. It is. It? It's quite loose fitting. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we decided to style it that way. You can style it any way you like. Yeah. It's a bit of a exactly. buffet dress. If you um, think back to the sewing bee. Also, 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 um, Jane, Sussex seems just Jane, uh, she's just been starting to make her patterns bigger, hasn't she? So it might mm. be that in the future it'll be a, a bigger pattern. She'll be watching now. I'm sure she'll send in a message in a second. Yes, what do you want, Hannah? <laughs> <laughs> okay on the website there are no details on sizing so what i'll do is i'll open mine in a second and we'll go through the brochure the, the instructions and everything like that the brochure the brochure what's the matter no you weren't annoying me i just said yes <laughs> oh honestly <laughs> everyone's very sensitive today so that Saturday morning, Elliot's been very sensitive. It's the way you say it. It's just, it's just very funny. But did I say something rude? No, no, not at all. I don't know. You wouldn't hear Richard and Judy saying that. What's the oh. matter? Oh, yes, you would. That's where I learned it from. That's where I oh, learned how it? to do this job, isn't it? <laughs> right, I'm just opening the packet now. Right. So, here we go. Elliot's bought this one already, he says, for, for, so it's fine. Right, so the skill level is him. intermediate. Look, this would fit him as well. It would fit him. Uh, the fabric, you need four metres, four metres of fabric you need, of 150 centimetres wide. Suggested fabrics, lightweight viscose, cotton lawn, muslin, crepe or crepe de chine. You do need shearing elastic, you need bias binding and you need thread. Here's the sizes, size 8 to 22 and 8 is, it's all in centimetres, 84 inch uh, bust, s s uh, not inch, centimetre, 84 centimetre bust. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can hear you. I can hear you. 8 to 22. This is 8 to 22. No, 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 no. It's because uh, I, I, where I'm sitting, I think we've moved again because it was... It's, anyway, it doesn't matter. There you go. Right, here you go. I'm moving into the rest of the thing now. That's why I'm moving it. All right, so there's all the construction de de interest, it, interest details. <laughs> Seam allowance of one centimetre included in all seams, unless otherwise stated. There we go. There's your sleeves. There's your bias binding. There's your, uh, what's that? Bodice going to the skirt. There's your PDF layouts. This one needs an extra staple in it. Uh, and then we've got the glossary here of all the different things you might need to know. Pivot point, seam allowance, tacking or basting. Then just a page there for you to write your notes in and everything. Did you show the little video of Laura? Yes, Clive. We showed the little video of Laura. Has he we missed showed it? it twice. He missed it. He must have missed it. There it is again. Sue says, good morning, Mark. Hello, Glennie Sue. Glennie says, good morning, Mark. Marina says, morning, both. Right. Okay. Marina's the one who sent you the patterns. You oh. know, the old patterns. That's Marina that sent you the patterns. Now, the, the dress pattern itself is here on really, really lovely quality paper. There you go. And it go, you can see the sizes, different sizes on different um, dots and patterns. So you can follow the size. You need 8 to 22 on there. There you go. 8 to 22 there. And it tells you what to cut out, what's on a fold, everything like that. 
So, I've got some fabrics here to show you. Put that there, put that there, put that there, put that there. Right, now the, the bundle that the sample is made out of is this one here. Oh, they've given you four and a half metres. You only need four metres. Let's just double check. Let's just double check. Did I read that wrong? How wide is this fabric, please? Let's have a look then. Anyway, four and a half metres. Four and a half metres you get in this bundle. Did you have any... Did you, were you sent four and a half metres? Well, I didn't measure it. I, I was assuming I did. I, I did have a little bit left over, but then I was only making a kind of in the middle-ish kind of size. Oh, OK. Of course, yeah. So, uh, there we go. It's navy dot. It's beautiful, this. Really lovely fabric. Lovely weight to it. So that's the one the sample was made out of. That's the four and a half metre bundle. Let's have a look where the width is. Half the stock of the bundle's gone. There you go. That's the, there's your width. So it's, it's either a 55 or a 60 inch width. That, that's fine. You will have some left over. Um, that's it, it in the bundle. We do have it by the half metre as well. You look at that while I try and fold this up. You don't normally fold anything up. Mm? You don't normally fold anything up. Don't ever fold You don't normally fold it up. I won't fold it up then. <laughs> 6 99 <laughs> half metre. Let's pick on John Scott Day today, shall we? Everybody, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can... It's too late now, Elliot. I'm not your boyfriend, Hannah. Somebody, somebody said yesterday that was Hannah's boyfriend. Really? Yes. Gosh, there's a... I know, there's a lot going on. But, uh, well, I hate Never mind, we'll move on. I'd hate to point out the age difference. Oh, that's what I said. <laughs> I'd be a sugar granddad. Yeah, exactly. Right, OK. Granddad. So that's that one. Then which one are you sampling in? This one uh, here? The flowery one. This is rather lovely as well, mm. isn't it? Beautiful. Stunning. Uh, this floral, $59.99. Lobelia. Oh, OK. Lobelia is a little blue flower in your garden. Can you get them in blue, white and red? I think you can get them, can't you? It's a oh. bedding plant, Lobelia. Oh. Uh, you've got four and a half metres in here, $59.99. I don't move. think... I'm, t I'm not, a, I'm not a, a botanist. I was going to say, move over, Percy Thrower. Eh? <laughs> move over, Percy Thrower. <laughs> I only know Lobelia because every year my mum and dad we used to go to the garden centre. We'd buy Lobelia, alistums, nasturtiums, and then those ones that look like um, prehistoric flowers. That They look like glittery flowers that used to open and then the sun would go off and they'd close back down again. What were they called? I don't know. They sound, uh, sound amazing. Oh, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. They're so gorgeous. Anyway, that's how I know what Lobelia and alistum and those ones are. She wasn't so, wasting her time, was she? Well, she wasn't wasting her time at all. Well, it, all it all went in. It all went in, apart from the name of that one. <laughs> Peri no, that, that was Periwinkle was another one. Periwinkle was another one. Right, okay. Then we got that by the half metre. Hundred percent viscose. Lobelia blue, Lobelia blue. One hundred percent viscose. Oh, there's a bit more interest. It, 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 just, oh, what's the matter with me? My words. Bit more information on that one. What do you want me to do, Elliot? Lobelia Bloom, 100% viscose, beautiful. Okay, then I've also got it in a black dot on white. This will be a four and a half metre bundle. Oh, they've called it white dot, so there we go. White dot, dress fabric bundle, four and a half metres. I'd say it was a black dot on white, personally. He said, I'll have to fold all these while Mark's it's a white sewing dot, in a minute. Isn't it? Okay, that's that one. I've oh, also got one. that one by the half metre. Single figures on that one. Here's the fabric by the half metre. Now it'll have more information. White dotty about dots, 100% viscose. Uh, viscose chalice lawn. That's the weight of it. It's beautiful. Six ninety nine for half a metre. Okay, just recap the pattern for you. There it is. Yours won't be all ripped like that, obviously, when you get it. Sussex seamstress, pet with dress pattern. Size is 8 to 22. 15 pounds and 50 pence. 
Oh, Teddy has to miss the first hour, Teddy in Wimbledon, because they're demanding cats, but he's here now. That's good. <laughs> and um, good morning, Mark, says Christopher. You were very funny on your bee sting this week. Uh, Geraldine says, don't you think Mark's model looks a lot like Lisa Marie from your show? Yes, she does. Lisa Marie, the cake maker. Lisa Marie Presley. No, no, the, I, oh. I, that's why I used to call her every week, but Lisa Marie Taylor was the baker on the John Scott show, and she looked identical to your friend there. Well, you see, maybe they were sisters. Maybe. Percy Thrower. No, they weren't Livingston Daisies. I don't think they were called that. I'll have a think about it. Mesembryanthemums, thank you. The what? Leslie, Mesembryanthemums, they're called. Mesembryanthemums. You don't see a Mesembryanthemum these days, do you? What is the world coming to? Hmm? What is the world coming to? I know. Well, it's moving on, isn't it? It's, <laughs> that's what it's doing. It's leaving John Scott behind. Yes, exactly. All right, just do some sewing. <laughs> Right, where are you starting? What are you showing? What are I'm we starting doing? from the beginning. Okay, perfect. So you do that. Take me out of the box, please, because I've got to do the folding up of fabric. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're going to start by making the opening of the uh, of the dress. There were some stills as well, which I don't think we've seen yet, and it has this nice little split down the front. It's very simply made, and it has a little kind of tie just round the neck. You could swap the, the little tie out for something a lot bigger if you wanted, have a bit more of a pussy bow going on, uh, but we'll stick to what they've got on there. So it's very simply put together, the opening on this, and you could swap this out for a more complex version if you wish. Uh, so all we're going to do here is you cut a little slit as marked on the pattern down there, and then you double fold over the edge of that fabric and we'll sew it down. So let's go over to the machine now. Okay. And uh, we'll just sew this down. Now, if you're using the Juki, well, I'm, using, I'm lucky to be using the Juki NX7, you can swap out the foot plate for a straight stitch foot plate. Your machine might have something similar. And that just means that when you're working with these fine fabrics, it doesn't push the fabric down the little hole. Uh, the, uh, my Elna 680 has got one. Um, oh, does it? But, um, but also if you use the walking foot on your machine as well, that sometimes helps it as well, doesn't yes. it? Yes. I'm not doing any of those things today because I'm, I'm a rebel. Hasn't your machine... Oh, you're not even put the walking foot I, on your machine? No, I haven't. I, but um, it's all that. I didn't want to fiddle with it on air. No, no, that's fine. So I thought I'd... Because you know what happens if you start doing things that you haven't practised very much on air? You love what? It all starts going wrong, doesn't it? Yeah, you don't want that. Not again. <laughs> I've changed Wendy Orlando's settings on here. Oh, good, yes. She'll be what? Actually, she's not messaged in yet, has she? Oh, that's unusual. Okay, so there we have the two openings sewn right. together. Well, that fabric looks lovely, doesn't it? It does, doesn't yeah. it? Really lovely. I do like this. And then we'll just pop that together. Uh, where's the pins gone? Oh, stuck to everything. The fabric is 56 inches wide, by the way, just so you know. You've measured it. I've measured it, I've tied it up, and I've folded, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> In that order? Yes. And then we'll just continue sewing on the one centimetre seam allowance underneath that. Now you could use some French seams on this if you wish, if you wanted to be a bit posher. Yeah, Jane's watching, Sussex seems just, she's watching. Oh crikey, the pressure's on now. Yeah. She'll be giving me a report afterwards. Exactly. There we go. Yeah, so if you wanted, do a, a French seam or you could just overlock it or use a zigzag stitch, but it's a nice fine fabric, so it would be really nice to have that um, that nice finish to it. Yeah. And those who haven't done a, a French seam, it's just as simple as sewing it wrong, uh, sewing it wrong sides together, then sewing it right sides together. Yeah. Um, as opposed to just doing it wrong sides together. And that's all you're doing. And it sounds posh, it looks really nice, but it's actually not as difficult as, as maybe you might think. Have a practice though, yeah. before you get stuck in. Have a practice. There. And I'm just gonna press that seam open. I'm not finishing off my seams for today's demonstration, but I will, you would do when you do yours. There we go. So that's the opening done.
Okay, it's perfect. A, it's as simple as that. Yeah. It's, a, it's a nice, simple version of, of the opening. And then after that stage, you would then nail it together. Uh, nail it? Nail it together. I won't do that now, but you'll get your shoulder. This is where you put the shoulders together and the side seams together. Right. Now, the front section is a little bit larger around the neckline because you're going to gather it at the neckline. Just ever so slightly uh, just uh, above the, the uh, in this area, mm -hmm. kind of there. The colletage. That's the good word, isn't it? Yes, I was trying to think of a nice, polite word, and I was struggling. No, no, that's a, <laughs> the, oh, there's always an argument. Is it, is it décolletage or décolleté? We never got the answer. We never got an answer. To Does that it one. depend where you come from? Uh, no, 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 we don't know because when we used to do show necklaces when we were selling jewellery, we say put on the décolletage, décolleté, and nobody ever knew what was the right way of saying it. So unless oh. you've got a definitive answer, N me? No, no, I don't. I don't know anything. <laughs> that shirt you're wearing, is that your Turlo shirt? It's the Turlo shirt. In fact, this is the one I was demonstrating uh, on, on, the show. On, on air. So I finished it off, off last night. It's lovely, isn't it? Did this stand out, that this shirting fabric? The, this the shirting fabric might have gone, I think. Well, we'll have, we'll have a look for you. Yeah, this is the luxury shirting fabric that was available, but I don't know if it sold out or not. Now, as does, the, does the V down the front, does that have facing in it? Because from here, they're different. No, no, don't be facing. I mean, interfacing. Yes. It looks, it looks darker than the rest of the shirt. It does have interface. It's also doubled up as well. Oh, okay, that's why. So yeah. it's it's yeah. done on the fold, the, 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 yeah. down there. Um, so it does look a little darker. Lovely. There we go. Turner pattern still available. We, we're going to find out now. We can do that now. If you love Mark's shirt, it's his pattern. It was the first pattern exclusively launched here at Sane Street. On the 8th of May, was that the day it was? Oh, there you go. Graphics coming in. There you go. 14 99 So Mark Francis Turlow shirt pattern. Fabulous. And it was, it was the 8th, was it the 8th of May? It was the 8th of May, 8th yeah. of May. 8th of May so is where you can watch it being made. It's on my website as well, so if you wanted on to. On your website? Yeah, I, I put the link on there to the YouTube video. Brilliant. Because all of Sewing Street's programmes are on YouTube. Yes. Isn't it fabulous? Yeah, they You tell me that on every advert, Blake. Yeah. <laughs> and they're on, every, they're on every YouTube, and there's also extra ones that Elliot makes that people haven't been on there. Really? Yeah, so like how to do specific things or how to show off the design wall or anything like that. They, Elliot they, spends all his spare time making those. Bless him. They think of everything, don't they? Well, they make Elliot do everything. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing Let's next? move on. Yeah. Now, let's do the sleeves. Now, they have these lovely uh, uh, sleeves on them. Just down here. So you've got some shearing elastic just in the end there. Shearing elastic going across your bottom. No, not across your bottom, down the side. Across your bottom. No, it's here, down the side, <laughs> not across the bottom. One ninety nine for white shearing elastic. There we go. It's got four layers of shearing elastic right. in there. Yeah. And we're going to do that now. Okay, perfect. So you'll start off. There you go. You can see it just gathering around there. And it does have a bit of a bell shape to the sleeve as well, you can see. So it's it's nice and flattering on there. Hang on, let's just have a look at that, Elliot. I think no, no, no. I'll, 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 okay. There we go. Should we're looking at the, I'll talk about the pattern on the table. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So show the bell. Oh, shape on he's there. never there he's go. never happy, is he? There we go. So it's not. Don't a... you start? <laughs> I can go home, you know. <laughs> no, don't we need you? Yeah. There you go. So it's got this kind of curve to the end. Uh, there we go. So that's not me lying it out flat or miscutting it. That is that is the shape, and okay. this bit here creates the nice bell shape that you get to it. Let's move my iron out of the way. Yeah. So what you'll need to do now, where's my bobbin? Here it is. You'll have your shearing elastic, right? which John Scott was modelling a few minutes ago. Yeah, they noticed all. They did. And then you need to get yourself a bobbin yeah. and wind it nice and loosely round the bobbin. Right. So by don't, hand? By hand, yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't do it on your machine because your machine will stretch out the elastic and that won't work. Okay. You need it to be nice and relaxed in, in its sort of natural state, if you like. Uh -huh. uh, so keep your thread, your your coloured thread on the top yeah, and pop this. Oh, there's a piece of fluff in there. Let's get rid of that. Well, it could only be yours or Wendy Orlando's. Oh, no, it must be Wendy Orlando's then. Now, hold the bobbin in place with one finger and just make sure you pull the elastic through into all those little nooks and crannies. The way you would do with your thread. Yes, but it's got, but it, it won't naturally kind of just fall into those grooves. You've got to kind of Give it a bit of a tug okay. to make sure it sits Coax in there. Coax it. Coax it. That's the word. That was Elliot's word for it. That's a better word than tugging. Yeah. And then 
Now I would suggest you manually, this does have an automatic threader, so when you start off it just pulls the bottom yeah. thread through. I would suggest you don't do that and you do it the old fashioned way. Right. By turning the wheel. Okay. And pulling it through, which is what on old sewing machines we used to have to do all the time, just bring the yes. bottom thread up. I would suggest you do it that way. Okay. And then pull a decent amount through because you want to have a bit of a tail on this. There we go. Now, the secret is not to rush through it. Right. Because you're putting something through the machine that it's not really designed to take. It will do it. So don't do a back stitch or a lock stitch or anything like that. Just um, straight off and it should gather. Normal stitch length? Oh, no. Thank you very much. That's right. You need to have it on your longest stitch length of this machine, which is a five. Yeah. And just go nice. I've actually turned down the dial. Oh, they get doing it. And you've got to do this four times. So find somewhere on the machine to line it up with. So I'm just lining up my, where I top stitch the, uh, the hem down, I'm just lining that up with the edge of my foot. So they'll probably be about five millimeters apart. You can put as many or as little as you like. Four is a nice length number, I, I think. Uh -huh. And you can do this, do this technique on a lot of clothes. So if you're making, uh, you typically see this on smocked kind of tops. It's, uh, so if you make a something for a child, this might be quite nice. Yeah. I wouldn't go any faster than this. It's tempting yeah, to, no, no, to no, floor no. it. Or it. There we and go. And then at the end, just pull it through. So don't use the automatic cutter. Yeah. Which is a bit of a habit of mine to do that. Yeah. Oops. And just give that a tug. Oh, need the bobbin. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. <laughs> there we go. So that's one row done. Right. That's Perfect. What, that's what you get. So it should be nice and springy. Yeah. Now, when you come to do the next row, I won't do all four no. because that won't make the best television. And uh, we don't want that in. So just get your threads out the way. Now, line. I'm going to line up the ed, my previous stitching yeah. with. Of course, it goes all a bit springy now, doesn't yeah. it? With the edge of my foot, right. so that they're the same. They should be the same width apart in each row. Mm -hmm. And again, just just go through and just gently stretch the elastic slightly, just so you can stitch that into place. Yeah. The ends of this will get all sewn in when you put the sleeve together. Yeah. Uh, and that will stop it all running out. So you could overlock it or, like I said, French seam it together and that will hold those in place. Or if you're not doing those, you could just zigzag it. That will also hold the ends of these seams in place. Some people, of course, don't backstitch at all on the seams that will get put into no. the seams, do they? I, I generally do. I do generally, obviously not with shearing elastic, but I do on normal seams, yeah. Yeah. You see, back in the day when I was training, you couldn't put your shearing elastic into the bobbin. Would so not, you'd have to do... Would it, would you'd it have to come? do a zigzag from the other side and zigzag across the shearing elastic. Oh, I see. And, and in, in case it that way. Yeah. Or do it by hand. But it meant that you had loads and loads of stitches showing. This way you only have one line of stitches. You do. On my way you have a great big zigzag stitch show. My, my grandmother likes smocking and working with this kind of stuff. Yeah. There we go. So what you get on the top is that you'll have four rows of that. Yeah. If I show you from the other side, you'll see the shearing elastic is underneath. Perfect. And look, going slowly means it's nice and evenly. Look how evenly gathered that is up sort of thing. You know That's what I mean? quite good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'm quite pleased with that. Yeah. Uh, because the risk is if you go too fast, you won't get the nice even gathers. Yeah. You might even cause as I've had a little hiccup with the machine, it might get caught or snagged, so go nice and slow. And also remember that your bobbin won't last as long as it does with thread in it, because obviously you've only got the shorter amount of mm. elastic in there, so do keep it, because you don't want your bobbin to run out halfway down. 
I one found of the that it it was enough when oh, I, okay. when I did it. Yeah. One bobbin, I, I wound it. You don't want to kind of overfill it, of course. You no. want it to be bulging out. Yeah. Um, and you got to kind of do it as evenly as you can when you're winding it on, of course. Um, but it did just about do. I had about that much left at the end after uh, two sleeves. After two oh, sleeves, perfect. it's very it's yeah. very tight. So yeah. like. Do keep an eye on it, but yeah. that's quite a fun thing to do. Actually, yeah, I quite like lovely. doing that. So if you had, you could do this for any any shirt or blouse. If you didn't want to put a cuff on it, you could just turn up the edges and uh, and just pop some shearing elastic yeah. in. Very nice. Always keep shearing elastic on you in case your knickers fail. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's expected that? No. I don't think it'd do the top, would it? Anyway. Sheila, I want to know what's the size range of the pattern. It's 8 to 22, Sheila. 8 to 22, this one. There you go. 8 to 22. Uh, obviously, the size 8, uh, Jane's got as 84 bust, 67 waist, 93 hip in centimetres. And the 22, 116 uh, bust, 97 waist, 120 hip, all in centimetres. So I've popped my coloured bobbin back in. Yeah. And I've changed the stitch length back. Don't forget to do that. And then we'll move on and have a chat about some of the gathers because there's quite a lot of gathering on this. Yeah. And there are a few different ways you could achieve that. So you've got two layers to the skirt. Here's okay. the first one layer. I've already sewn these together, so you've got, I've sewn them, so it's a big, a big loop of, of fabric here. Okay. So you'll sew one together. So this is like the buffet dress off Great British Navy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It, it is very much like it. In fact, I think if you did this for the brief, then it, they would they would love it. And this yeah. is the bottom one, Oof. which is which is really long. Now, is it just straight or is it curved? They do have a slight uh, curve at the okay. edges, but it's ever so slight. So do get them the right way up, or you're going to end up. Um, oh, you're going to be going inwards. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, that might be quite fun, but yeah. no, don't do it like that. So that's what you get with those, and you have to gather it along the top edges. Um, now, this I tried a a a, a what's her name, Wendy Gardner, trick on this, right? Which was to gather it in sections, right? Rather than doing one long oh, thread yes, all the way around. Definitely. And I hadn't done that before, so I thought, do you know what I'm going to get? And yeah. this is rather a, a big piece. Yeah. These are rather oh, big no, pieces. Oh, no, the likelihood of it snapping when it's such a big piece is, is about ne inevitable almost, isn't it? Yes. So, again, like before, you don't want to backstitch uh, on the top. Although you could at the beginning, actually, couldn't you? It depends which end you're pulling from. Yeah, if you're pulling the other end, then you could back stitch, then that's going to be secure. So what size stitch are you, are you, do you well, use? Well, I'm going to put it back, actually. To, to, I need to put it back to five, yeah, don't perfect. I? Perfect. Or it won't work. So all I'm going to do is run this stitch through. Oh, hang on, a bit more speed. You could use a gathering foot, of course. Yeah. You could do little pleats if you wanted. Mm -hmm. With your fork out the drawer. And I'm just going to go from one seam to the next and then take it off. Yeah. In fact, the machine will always start to do some of the job for you. Don't back stitch, just lift the needle and leave a, nice, a, leave a generous thread. And you'll see it, it, the machine will automatically start to pop a little bit of a gather on it, uh -huh. which will help you along. Do you do one or two? Well, I, I tried it with one and it worked with one, but okay. you would normally do two yeah. just to be on the safe side. I'll only do one today just, yeah. just for this demonstration, but on the safe side, it's best to do best to do two. Because yeah, yeah. if it snaps, you've got to start again. If it snaps, and also depending on your fabric, sometimes the fabric's a little bit heavier, it won't gather evenly and you'll have your gathers going a bit. If you've done two lines and it'll gather it nicely like your shearing elastic yeah. did. And if you've only got one line of stitching, it'll make it go a bit wonky. What are you saying, Hannah? Sorry. Oh, the bundle that we're working with is sold out. Has it? Yeah. It is really lovely. Yeah. Oh, the bundle that the sample is made out of is sold out. The navy blue dotty is available by the half metre. Well, did you say the floral was or wasn't? Okay. 
Oh, there wouldn't be enough of that left to make a dress of that one by the half metre. So now all I've got left is the white with the black dots in the bundle, the white with the black dots in the half metre, and then the, the blue with the white dots on it. They're all underneath us there. Okay. Oh, Zach's gathered up nicely already. It, well, this is it. And I was doing this, uh, when I was practising this, I'm doing the demo, demo uh, the sample dress. It did start to gather in itself. I thought, well, that's doing half the job yeah. for me. So I haven't actually got my top together. But you would put your top there. I pull this down. You put it up there, and you can then get your, your little strings and find the correct one, not that one. Okay. There we go. And very gently, especially when you've got one like me, you pull it up like that, and just keep pulling and e trying to space it out as evenly as you can. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's going to be the other side. In fact, what I could do is put the top together quickly and then, because I've got time. Oh, you've got ages yet. Yeah. Tell you what, let's do that. Let's get okay. the top together. That's the sleeve. What That's you can also sleeve. do is, if you, uh, the more experienced you get, because obviously doing period costumes, I had to do loads of gathering. You learn to not even do a gathering stitch. You just get a screwdriver or a pair, uh, 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 um, scissors and just feed, feed it through as you're going. And you can gather as you're going through. You don't do a gathering stitch. You just literally feed the fabric underneath. And you get so to eye that you can get it to the right length. And things. You can get gathering feet as and well. And you get gathering you? feet mm. as well, yeah. Which I haven't experimented with myself. But you can also get a foot that gathers one while stitching it to your flat one on the other side. So if you've really? got your bodice underneath, it gathers the skirt to the bodice size and it sews it together all at the same time. That is amazing, yeah. isn't it? I didn't... I'm going to I have to Google that later. You see, there's us doing it the old-fashioned way. Mm -hmm. And yet there's engineers have already solved the problem. I suspect most people don't have one of those feet, though. No. So I'm just going to put this together at the sides. It's only a one centimetre seam allowance on this one. Uh-huh. Although, because it is quite a, a loose fitting dress, I think you could probably sew it with a one and a half centimetre seam allowance. I don't think it would make an enormous difference. No, exactly. I'm sure Jane will tell us if it will. I don't want to upset her. Yeah, she's not commented today. Is she not? She's sending messages in, isn't she? Oh, no. Have we upset her? No, she sent a big red heart. Oh, that's good. When then. she said the first one, she said, I'm here. Hi, John and Mark, Sussex Eve. She has a big red heart. And when summer does arrive, or even spring, Ugh, this yeah. will be fabulous. Yeah. What? Oh, sorry. I thought you were going to say something else. No, then. sorry, no. <laughs> But we don't seem to have much of it at the moment, do we? Oh, it's heating on. Heating's on. I've had the heating on all day long. We've had the fire on in the evenings. Oh, cranky. Which the dogs thinks is fabulous. Yeah, of course. And we can't get to mow the lawn. It's growing like a weed. Have you not mowed your lawn? Well, it's no, because it's been so wet. Well, I've managed to do mine twice. So I don't know what we're going to do with it. Buy a goat, I suppose. I mean, the dogs don't eat enough grass to keep no. it low. <laughs> get a sheep. It's a good idea. I could borrow one from the local farmer if you like. Don't they poo everywhere? Yeah. But it's natural fertiliser for your garden. Oh, that's oh here's true. Jane. What's she saying? What's I'm she being saying? good and staying out of it, she says. <laughs> oh, hang on, get a photo. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, bless. Oh. I still haven't met her properly yet. Oh, amazing. You notice Vix is covering her face because she went to do her makeup. <laughs> nice pyjamas as well. And she's got her back to you as well. Yeah, Maisie's got her back to us and then Vix is using the baby. Well, no, she's watching me. That's why she's got her back yep. to us. But then Vix is covering her face with the baby's head. Oh, how is she? I've got a pile of presents for you. I don't... I've got her at home at the moment, but I'll, I'll, I'll see you soon. Has she, do we know when she's coming back? Is, has anything been decided? Uh, no, not yet. Oh. 
Well, no, I, I no, don't no, know. No, I don't know. If I've no. kind of, don't know. Don't know. She's like the Alex Jones of Sewing Street, isn't she? What, <laughs> pumping out babies? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, you see, once you've had one. Yeah. Hi, she... gorgeous Vicky and Maisie, says Christine. I'll just do the other shoulder. And then... Oh, you... Adele's doing No Mo May. Have you heard about this? No, right. no Mo May, May is the best way to look after the wildlife. You don't mow your, garden, mow your lawn for the whole of May. Well, that's a good, that's a good excuse, Yeah, isn't leave it, it till June, Mark, says Adele. Oh, hang on, what's happened? Pamela's doing no mo may as well. I'm sorry, I've done my mo mine. Oh, here you go. Don't worry about the grass. It's no mo may. Love getting hints and tops. I think you mean tips there, Pamela, don't you? Oh, it was when Orlando cursed it again. I don't know. It's just decided it wants to. Hang on, I'm going to unthread it and just okay. pop it through again. While you do that, let me do a recap yes. because we've also, before I do the, the, the Sussex Easter stuff, I've got the pattern for Mark's shirt here. I'll just show you that very quickly. We've got a picture of it. Mark launched it here on uh, May the 8th. And um, it was incredibly, for a, for a launch, it was really, really popular. We've got a few left, 14 99 Got a picture of it? Yes, we have. Here we have, Elliot. There it is. There we go. Well, that's it. That's it. That's the pattern there. That's not the one you've got on. That's a different, that's a different kind that's of That's the very fabric, original one I made, actually. Was uh, that in the Bahamas or Barbados or somewhere like that? No, no, we're quite so exotic. No, that was in Mexico. Oh, Mexico, still somewhere exotic though. Uh, so there's the pattern, uh, sizes extra small to double XL, $14.99. That's the shirt that Mark is actually wearing today. It's his design, his first pattern launch. Okay, right, moving back to the Sussex Seamstress though from today. This is the pattern that we're doing today, the pet with dress. First time we've had it on air. 15 pounds and 50 pence. You get the pattern pieces and the instruction. Oh, sizes, I can show you the sizes. <laughs> there it is. Ellie, all Ellie's been saying to me, I've got the sizes now, John. When you need to show the sizes, just say you need the sizes. <laughs> there you go, there's the sizing of the Petworth dress that we're doing. Sussex Seems Just Jane's uh, design. There it is. There's what she called Lorna, did you say, or Laura? Laura. Laura. She's on Instagram, Laura Orton. I don't know whether she wants followers, but... Is she a model? No, she's not. She's just... Uh, she's, a, she's a very clever. She was she used to do environmental science-y kind of stuff. Oh, OK. Yeah, measuring oh, what's stream. what's her last name? Orton. O-R-T-O-N. Yeah. Laura Orton on Instagram, if you want to go and follow her. And that's her beautiful lounge. We've been invited round for... Well, we've been invited round since the clap for the NHS in that kind of you must come round and we'll have oh a year course, ago when we yeah, were clapping every yeah but we haven't been like, able to no exactly and uh, the other weekend we went round and have wine and nibbles in her garden oh oh that's a native land <laughs> 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 Elliot's not having a good morning he apologises profusely to everybody we're selling everything today aren't we mm. I've, I'm half look I'm half and half now look can you what's see I've got a line straight down the middle of my face look is that like a before and after? It's like, no, it's like, what's that comedian that used to do that? Harry, oh, you're too young. <laughs> okay, uh, shall but we I know, I do know what you mean, because at the swimming pool when I was a kid, there were these massive mirrors that's at the, it. And at you the do end. That either side of it, yeah. yes. That's, uh, yeah. that's what it was Harry Worth, wasn't it? <clears throat> I always remember Lucy Browning saying, using different colour in bobbing for gathering to know which thread to pull, exactly. I know the size on the patterns aren't the same as the shops, but I was a bit shocked to have cut size 16 trousers. Oh, well, you're not size 16. Not from these. She's not talking about these. Right, off you go. So here we go. I put the top together, and this is just where I didn't give this much of a gather, and you'll see how close that is yep. to fitting it, and the machine has done most of that work for me. Uh, so what, you'd, what we could do... So now, would you attach this first layer to the bodice before you put the second layer on the skirt. That's the way the instructions say, but okay. you could build the skirt first yeah. and then attach the whole skirt. I don't think it would make an enormous no, no, difference. No. Um, just match up the side seams. So the top panel of the skirt has two pieces, but the bottom one has three. Uh-huh. Right. Yes, just, yes, yes. Yeah, so just uh, in this first section, match up your side seams like, like so. And and as you're pinning it, you can kind of just even out all those gathers. Oh, what's going on? So you'd be right sides together. Mm -hmm. When you come to the th 
second layer, the much longer piece that's here, there we go, yeah. uh, then uh, you want to make sure that the one of the seams is at the back, then you've got the other two seams sort of kind of at the sides. Two thirds, so yeah. yeah. So you don't have a seam down the fr centre front no. or just off I centre. Mean, you probably wouldn't notice anyway. It's a busy fabric. Yeah. You probably wouldn't see it even if you got it the wrong way round or did it another way. Um, so let's just match up the side seams. Okay. I'll stick a pin in. I've got everything there. And then we'll stick another one in the other side. Match at the seams is nice. I'm not being too fussy right at the moment, but you'll be doing it nicely at home. So <coughs> take your time to match up those side seams. Mm -hmm. Then you can see exactly how much you need to gather up. Now that front section is actually pretty good. So you can pop a pin in and then just look at the back. I think I want it to gather the... Oh, no, that's not actually too bad either. It's got to even it out. It's muttering. I'm muttering, I'm muttering. Yeah. I was going to ask you something. Oh, what? Will you be watching Eurovision? And now when somebody else asks that earlier, I'll be in bed because I've got to get up for work in the oh, morning. Oh, do you normally watch it? I did. I used to watch it religiously. And then the last few years, I've kind of think, oh, I can't be bothered. You ever been involved in it? No. No. You haven't made costumes for... No, no. Nothing. For Michael Ball or... No. <laughs> or or, or when Katrina they a very awful cream double-breasted suit on the ear he did it. <laughs> and uh, who else? Oh, Sonia. She did one. Oh, yeah. Sonia was on the radio the other day doing some of the best of. Is this pattern suitable for a beginner I with a little bit of experience, says Helen? I think so. Yeah, I think you'd, you'd do that. Well, I, th I think it's for a beginner, but I think Jane put in here, she put intermediate, didn't she? Yeah. The most complex part, I think, are the uh, is the shearing elastic. Yeah, I think that's the most complex. But you'll you'll come across. Yeah. Apart from that, everything else is is mostly gathers. Yeah. Um, so yeah, why not have a bash, and uh, tag the Sussex seamstress in on Instagram if you. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, and uh, well, I'm sure we'll come to talk about the neck in a minute because the neck's a bias bound neck, and it, it is, and the tie turns into that. We'll talk about that in a second. There we go. So. <coughs> Let's uh, let's sew this. Oh, oh, I threw the pins out the pot by mistake, and I've got pins everywhere. Oh no! They used to have a magnetic little hoovery thing on the sewing bee. They used to go round. Oh so yeah. It's like a like a carpet sweeper with a magnet going round. Oh, we get pins. Yeah. Oh, you see, our friend Rachel from Dudley's just bought this hoover for a house, which is just a round thing, and it goes around the house hoovering for you. See, that's um, Haley's best friend. So Haley wants to buy one for here. What's well, about the dogs would that confuse that we don't have a dog here but you know well no if you see if you look on uh, you see Instagram the cat sitting on it facebook the cats sit on top of it and ride around the kitchen on it <laughs> i can see nelly and norman doing that well not anymore well no but <laughs> they're in cat heaven yes but. they'll maybe have a hoover in cat heaven uh when you are au pair girl what you say hannah no okay i don't even think i should say this but please do not do this at home when Hannah was no pair in uh, Holland, in um, Amsterdam, they used to put the baby on the hoover that went round the house. <laughs> but please don't do that at home. D did the parents know? Well, I don't know. No. Oh. <laughs> but then the parents also don't know that Hannah burnt every single pothole that they had. And when they said to her, Hannah, have you burnt these potholes? She went, no. And she was the only other adult in the house. <laughs> She has to take the she has to take the children to to school in a bike with like a, a box on the front and the children sit in the box at the front. It is very nice in Amsterdam, though, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely in Amsterdam. Yeah, we went there a few years ago. We we're right in the middle of it. What in Amsterdam? Yeah, yeah. It did an Airbnb yeah. and didn't realise that we were actually in the middle of the... Of oh, the, OK. Of yeah, the, yeah, yes, yeah. Right. Or just round the corner from it anyway. Yes. It's like, oh, that's remarkably close. Yeah. <laughs> Hayley's watching, everybody. No. Hayley's, Hayley's going to buy a Hoover and she says if it's successful in the studio, she's going to get it in for you to buy. Great demo, Mark, she says. Oh, fab. Who said that? Hayley, your boss. Hey, 
Oh, really? Yes. Hayley the Marshal says. Yes, that's her. Oh, what time is it? She should be. I thought she'd be at the football by now. At the what? at the football. Uh, Joseph, a young lad, is a very, very keen footballer. Oh, he keeps crikey. winning footballer of the match or man of oh, the match, it? whatever it's called. <laughs> I, I was always last to be picked for football. Were you? I wish I wasn't picked at all, frankly. But <laughs> yeah, but there was even numbers. So you had to be picked, didn't you? I was always last as well. Me and Michael McBride, we were always left the last two left there, with the little, with little tubby knees sinking into the mud. What you saying? I was fat. <laughs> I <laughs> carry on. <laughs> I was. I was. <laughs> that's not. That's by the way. God, this seems never ending. It wasn't because I was fat. It's because I kept saying I was Yvonne Gulagong because I wanted to be a tennis player. You were, you were what? <laughs> Yvonne Gulagong was a really famous tennis player at the time, and I was like, "Don't pick me. I'm Yvonne Gulagong." <laughs> eleven. I was eleven. Eric Morecambe used to call her Yvonne Dinagong. Oh, did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> and Chrissy Ever, oh, sorry, I've set him off now. She used to play against Chrissy Ever. She used to wear a diamond. That's where the diamond tennis bracelet came from. She wore a diamond tennis bracelet. And she, my mum loved her because she used to wear really short little dresses and have very fancy little tennis matching pants underneath. Little pants. Yeah. You don't get matching pants with things anymore, do you? Well, I think they wear cycling shorts now, don't they, under their, under their dresses now? When I did my uh, tennis dress for Sewing Bee, the pattern was the 70s pattern. It came with a pair of matching knickers. Oh, underneath. yes. I didn't make those. I didn't think that my model would appreciate it. OK, Claire says it's called a robo vacuum. <clears throat> I, read once some, I read once someone set theirs to hoover at night when they're in bed. Unbeknownst to them, their puppy had done... OK, on the carpet. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was it smeared all around the house? Yeah, all right, we'll not go there. I should have read that message before I started reading it out. Sorry. <laughs> Sue says, I can never work out the order and how best to overlock the edges. Watch this space, Sue, because we've got an overlocking demonstration coming up. Not today, but it's in the schedule very soon. In brief, though, it can depend what you're making, can't yeah. it? You can either... On sewing bee, sometimes we'd overlock pieces before we yes. sewed it together. Other times you can use it to seal all those edges together. Yeah. So or just use it to construct and yeah, seal yeah. at the same time. There we go. So I have done this really quickly, so I hope it's... There we go. That's not bad, is it? Lovely. If I hold it up against me, will it suit me? No. Got it back to front. Oh, I have, haven't I? I was there thinking it's going to have a zip in it. Yeah. There we go. Lovely. OK, now, we're not going to put the other layer on. Can we just no, talk it take the too neck? long. I don't know if you're going to demo or just, could just talk uh, How neck. long have we got? So, you'd need to put a little gather on these front pieces. It is marked on the pattern. If I find the right one. There we go. So you see on the pattern. Right. You're in exactly the right place, yeah. There's a little tiny notch there. Yeah. And you need to sew a gathering line all the way along there. Right. And then gather it down to nine centimetres. Okay. Not eight. Not, not eight, ten. not ten. No, nine. So I didn't notch this, did I? Which is always my... Uh, oh. I know. I could, I could hear Clive tutting at me. Yeah. But it's... Clive, are you tutting? He's not watching, he says. He should be watching. He's in his onesie. How do you know? He must have had a shower and got dressed by now. He, I think he... Uh, no, I don't think. No, I think he has showered and I put a onesie on. Oh, OK. He's having a lazy day, is he? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, stitch length back on five or whatever your longest is. Yeah. And just nail that through. Oh, what's that down there? That's a bit of a pin. Ooh. That could have caused mayhem. I think Wendy Orlando put it there, trying to sabotage you. She is. Yeah. I've seen, I've, I've noticed her ways. There we go. And it might do the gather. I have I've got a ruler here. I've got an inches. But anyway, you'd gather it up. It doesn't matter now. Oh, blimey. Is it sterile? Uh, it's sterile. It's been sanitised. I'm so by. <laughs> like milk. Yeah, sat naved. Oh no, sanitised. <laughs> I keep calling it sat nav and I don't know why. Oh, it's you been a year now, hasn't it? Or pasteurised. Yeah. There we go. So just give that a nice little gather like yeah. that. You could baste it into place. I'm still a bit too long, but you gather it that down to nine centimetres. Mm -hmm. I do one on the other side and then you'll cut a piece out like this. 
It gives you the length that you need in the instructions for the appropriate size. But to be honest, you could do it much longer than that if you wanted. I mean, that's just enough to do those little ties. If you looked at the picture of Laura, you see she's got a little tie around her neck. It's yeah. not very big, but it just depends on what style you would like. Yes. So if you look at the picture on the left there, you'll see she's got a little bow. So you could do much bigger. Is that cut on the bias or on the straight? Uh, I cut this on the straight. Okay. Um, it, uh, yes, you could do it on the bias. It's fairly, it's fairly uh, light anyway, so it should be fine. And then what you'll do, you could use a bias binding maker. Yeah. If you have one. But it's only a little piece anyway, so you can just do this by hand. Where's my iron gun? So you'll fold it in half, first of all, to give you the center, center line. Mm -hmm. And you'll go all the way along. Do it a bit more accurately than I'm doing it now. But once you've done that, you can then open it back out and fold, there we go, fold that in like that and press that. In fact, these little irons are wonderful for doing these kind of little bits of fiddly work. And then just do the other side. Mm -hmm. Oops. And press that and then you get a piece of bias binding that you can then attach. There's your bias binding. That's, yeah. how, that's how you make it. Yeah. I've, I've done that really quickly and it's not looking very glamorous. No, that's so take, so take your time on it. And then so what, you attach it round the collar. That's it, so find, <coughs> the, find the center point of your bias binding. Mm -hmm. So maybe just mark a little notch. You will then, where's the top gun? Here it is. I'll just lay this out. Don't need you any more iron. Now lay it to the inside like that and you'll pin it in place and then the reason you do it on the inside is that you can then top stitch the outside yeah. and then it'll look much even because if you try and top stitch it on the inside it won't look nice from the from the, other from side. the correct so side. what you do is you stitch it all the way around your neckline but all then but then when you stitch it over you carry on stitching so you've stitched it goes round your neckline and then you carry on stitching exactly. down the tab so that you can then that's it have and you just tab. need to then fold under the edge as well, you need to press the edge under so that okay. you can have a nice end to it. But okay. could you one much bigger, you could pick like a kind of a twilly or like a much longer, thicker bow if you wanted to have mm. something a bit more dramatic on there. As yeah, well. exactly. Brilliant, thank you very much indeed. Smashing. So now you're back in an hour doing the I trousers am. that trousers. Behind you, which are fairly Hesford's trousers, aren't they? They are, they're from So Girl. So Girl. And that's, oh, there you go, there's Laura wearing them there. She is. That's coming up in an hour's time, in an hour's time, that one. Uh, message for Mark. Oh, let's have a look. Thanks to Mark for invaluable tip he gave in his last demo. Cut out darts. Oh, last time you're in. Cut out darts in the pattern itself before cutting the fabric. Dart nightmare is now ended from oh. Bronwyn in Kefilly. There you How go. How smashing. That's lovely. Oh, another one. Collector in Northumberland says, good morning, John and Mark. Only just tuned in. What size is the dress pattern, please? I can show you a picture. <laughs> because Elliot's made a picture. Oh, football's tomorrow, not today. Oh. Football's tomorrow, Sunday league tomorrow. Okay, right, let's just do a quick cut round up then. The paton. It's quite a loose fitting dress though, as we were talking about though, for those who just tuned in. So uh, you, this is a 14 that I cut out behind me and, it, and it's nice and loose. Yeah, you could, exactly. You can fit it with the belt. Yeah, exactly. So the pattern is 15 pounds and 50 pence. Uh, you get the instructions and all the pattern pieces in there. Lovely. Now fabric wise, I'm very, very limited now. The only bundle I've got left now, four and a half metres, is the white with the black dot. We've called it white dot, white dotty. There it is. It's four and a half metres. They're uneven dots. They're kind of random dots. Is that the negative of the other one? It is. It's exactly the same as the other one, but uh, the other way around, look. So that's that one. Then I've still got this by the half metre. I've got a bundle of this one. If you want to buy that by the half metre, I've still got the navy with white. Four and a half, well, we've done, oh, you've put the bundle one in, no, hang on. Is that right? Uh, four and a half metres is what they've said, but actually Jane says four metres on her pattern. Uh, so a four unit is, a four metres is eight units, if you want to buy it by that unit, no doubt. 
Okay, there's no, there's very few of those. There's plenty of meterage, but if you think about how, if you need eight units, then there's about three or four people. That's it. Get that, get that now. And then that's it, is it? The pattern Mark's wearing very quickly is his own pattern. It's the Turlo shirt. Uh, May the 8th is when we launched it here. You can watch it on YouTube. £14.99. Not sure if the shirting... Oh, he's modelling. There you go. Not sure if the shirting is still in stock. Just go down to fabrics. It was called fine... Was it called fine shirting? It's luxury shirting, luxury fabric, shirting. they called it. But I, I have a feeling it's sell, sold out. I think on the day it's sold out. Unless they've restocked. Yeah, but... Yeah. Um, Okay, thank you very much indeed. Right, uh, don't go anywhere because Beth's back. We are doing a Sashko uh, coasters and a table runner. And oh, don't forget, if you've everyone who's bought something today, your all name goes into a competition. I'll explain it after the break. We'll see you in three from now. Oh, sorry. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. 
And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! I've got a Tupperware of um, cherries. I just got it out and they all fell over and went over the desk. Now, I wasn't doing it on purpose. I just knocked it over. Anyway, if you buy anything today, your name goes into competition. It's from midnight last night to midnight tonight, or 11.59 tonight. All you have to do is buy something. And on Monday, three names will be pulled out of the hat. And each of you will win one of those patterns. So the three names that are pulled out by random, one of you will be sent one of these so with Beth patterns. And we thank uh, Beth very much for bringing those in for us. OK, that's the competition. It doesn't have to be anything for, of Beth. You can buy anything from the whole day, anything from the website. Anybody who buys anything today uh, will be automatically put into that competition. That right. OK, so Beth is going to be doing a bit of Sashiko this hour. It's her first day today. You all loved her first hour. So this is the first project here. Little table runner. Or it could be a wall hanging as well. Now, we do a kit, right? The kit has every single thing that you need in it, right? Every single thing that you need. I'll just move the table and there you go. So you get your fa fabric, your wadding, your instructions, your front. The wadding's in there as well, yeah, look. Mm -hmm. uh, ribbon, uh, sashiko thread, a needle. Everything you need is in there for £19.99. And pence. Beautiful, isn't it? There you go. And there's the hot finish thing. Cute little size, isn't it? Be nice to wall hanging as well, wouldn't it? Right, that's 19 99 for everything, remember. Everything you need. I've got the pattern on its own as well. Oh, is there a charm in there as well? Yes. Yeah, it's a charm in that one as well. Right, consider that, right, the whole kit to make that is 19 99 Right? Pattern on its own. If you've got your own fabric, but then you'd have to supply your thread, your fabric, everything like that. $9.99. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with $9.99 for a pattern. That's a good price for a quality pattern like that. However, that one, you get everything for $19.99, that one, or you can buy the pattern on its own for $9.99. Okay, that's the one Hannah would go for. So that's the table runner, which we're going to demonstrate first. Oh, there's a cherry on the table there. <laughs> Oops. Right? And then the other project we're doing this hour are these lovely coasters. Now, I don't have the patterns of these, just the kit to make these. But it's look, aren't they lovely? Set of four as well. It's not mm? three. It's a set of four. Oh, set of four? Yeah. Oh, where are the other two? In her room. <laughs> They're in her box over there. So you can make four. You can make four coasters out of this kit for twelve ninety nine. That's good, isn't it? I'll just turn that one over. So there's your fabric, your thread. Your, your other fabric there, your instructions, everything you need. Don't even need a sewing machine for this one. There they are. So you can make four of those. You can have many sides up you want, Elliot. Elliot's worried that people come round to his and spill red wine on that side, so he's going to turn them over and have ah, them that way. That's what you could get that. Um the, uh, oh, you can cover it with. Oh, you can odor coat them or lamiflex them like yeah. you have. Yeah, exactly. Brilliant. So that's the kit there for £12.99. So we're going to demo the uh, table runner first, which is lovely. The fabric's gorgeous. And a very good value, £19.99 for everything. Absolutely everything in there you get. And you're going to see uh, Beth making it up now. So, Beth, where do we start on this one then? Right. Starting, you want to um, take your... And they're not in that bit, they're over here, look. Okay. You, you want to take your templates, and again, I've put the templates in separately. Right. So that you can do do more. Um, and you want to trace your templates through. Now, because it's a darker fabric, you can't just lay it on top. So you can either hold it up against a window. Yeah. Or a light box. Perfect. I've got a light box. It's one of the best things I ever bought. Okay, available on our can, website. You can use them for absolutely anything, not just sewing. Mm -hmm. um, so, so yeah, so you, you trace that through. Um, it's got dashes as guides, but you don't have to. If you're finding your stitching isn't quite the same, as long as you do a nice even stitch, yeah. 
it's not too bad. Perfect. You can just do those differently. Um, when you do the fan one, yeah, you want to start, and you start always start with a knot, and you want to start at the top and work down, and then you want to leave yourself a tail. Oh, hang on a sec. Just hold it there. There you go. The camera's just playing up. There you go. Oh, okay. You leave a tail on them, right? So yeah. you do you do one line down and leave a you tail? You do a one line down and then you leave a tail. Okay. Because at the end of it, you want all your tails. Right. Because you're going to plait the tails. Yeah, I can see that. So this that is lovely. People loving this kit, by the way. Absolutely loving it. So, okay, so we, we start off by tracing them off. So yeah. now you've done two fans and like a wheat sheaf. It's ribbons. It's oh, it's ribbons, is it? Yes. It's what? No, noshi, if that's pronounced correctly. Oh, no. My Japanese isn't No, brilliant. my Japanese isn't brilliant, yeah. but it's like a bundle of ribbons. Oh, okay. Bundle of ribbons, not a bundle of wheat sheaf. No, and then the the fan um, on, on the edges, they're, they're great corner things, so yes. you can you can put these on, on quilts and the corners, corners and yeah, things. Yeah, lovely. So you could actually do it all differently, really. I need um, to warn you that half the stock of these kit, half the stock that we've got has gone of this already. We've only been doing, we're only doing it two minutes. Half the stock's gone already. I've got more. Uh, <laughs> right, so, okay, so we've traced it off onto our fabric. Yeah, you want to trace it off. Um, it doesn't matter which order you do them in. Right. Um, so now this is just a simple tide. Do you want to snip it off and do it again? All right. It's just a simple tied knot. Um, and you watch, this is where my, my nails won't work for me today, isn't it? Yeah, they're doing all right. Can you just move it all to the right, to your right a little bit? That's, there. Brilliant. That's it, perfect. So it's just a simple tied knot. Yeah. And then you start on the very first one because you're going to have two sides to that. S start leaving a tail at that end, right. come up, come down the other side, and then leave your tail oh, okay. there. On the first one. And then for all for all the rest of them, you're wanting to start up at this top. Okay. So is the knot on the other side then? Is the knot yeah. On the other side? Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. yeah. You're going to put the knot, but it'll only be on from there. This yes. first one won't have a knot yeah, at all. Yeah, Now, it's, Sashko is like Little Stab, it's Japanese and it started off as um, mending. Uh -huh. um, but it's it's just a running stitch, it's the easiest thing going. Yeah. But you've got a nice long needle right. so that you can gather your and stitches. You get that needle in your kit, don't you? Yes. Yeah. So that you can gather all your stitches on it. And because it's got a nice long needle, it's got a nice big eye as well. Oh, perfect. So it's lovely and easy to Have thread. Have you split the thread like you do on a no, embroidery? No, um, your Sashko thread doesn't come to split. Right. Now, when you get your um, skein of thread in there, yeah. if you just take it out of its wrapper yeah. and you open up into its big long loop, you'll find where it's tied at one end, uh, one bit. If you snip that tie and then cut all the way through the loop, so you've got a nice long piece. Okay, or lots, all of them. Lots of long pieces, yeah. It will give you the same length. It works out that long. Oh, okay, okay. Which is a perfect size, which is why they, because that, that is how your skein will come unraveled. Okay, perfect. Um, and then you just plait them down together and you can pull one out at a time and so they don't get knotted. Perfect. And it, because, your skeins can sometimes get in a real tangle, Not, can't yeah. they? So if you do that, it saves that. Brilliant. So so then you, you're using the... Am I in the right position? Uh, yeah, in the perfect yeah. position. You're though. using the dashes that are, are marked on as a, as a guide. As I say, they don't have to be. And you, you're wanting to come in and out and gather your stitches on your needle. And if you do it this way, that way you can actually see how even you're getting your stitches. Yeah. If you do one at a time, you don't tend to get them quite so even. Yeah. Um, 
What did you mark your fabric with to mark it? It was a, a heat erasable pen. Hey, again. Oh, okay. Or you could use a chalk pencil. Mm -hmm. um, or you, again, you could use an ordinary pencil. Um, and on the darker, it's not quite so obvious your ordinary pencil. Mm -hmm. So you just need to be careful that yeah. you do that. Yeah. I do like my heat erasable pens. Okay. I think they're amazing. So once you've got a few stitches on there, probably yeah. about five or six, then just pull them through. Okay. And then you can see that it gets nice and even. Mm -hmm. um, and this grows. Oh, hang on, just move to your, to your right a bit. Sorry. There you go, perfect. That This grows really, really quickly. So I would say you could probably get this sash code done in an evening easily easily yeah um and then there's a there are a couple of um bits that you can machine right the, the sashing strips in between right but if you haven't got a machine to hand there's no reason why you can't do them or if you just fancy doing a hand, hand stitching project yeah exactly. yeah there's no reason why you can't if you just do your a, a nice even back stitch, running stitch across the sashing bits. Mm -hmm. So, it builds, it builds quite quick. Yeah, also I bet it's quite mindful as well. Just oh, it's there. very mindful. Yeah. It is very, very addictive, is Sashko. Once you start it, you just really can't stop. Yeah, everyone says that. Yeah. And there are so many patterns out there. Mm. I've got quite a few now, actually. How did you get into Sashko then? Um, again, it was my quilting buddy. Oh, okay. My 90 odd year old quilting buddy, Jean. Yeah. She's amazing. She really is, bless her. So, so yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd heard of it and seen it, but yeah. Jean properly. Jean needs, knows a lot, doesn't she, then? She knows about quilting and Sashko and everything. Oh, yeah, and she's been to America and she's been around all the Amish things. And, oh, wow. Oh, but her hand quilting is Beautiful. just phenomenal. But, yeah, she, she used to teach mm -hmm. um, back in the day, bless her. In fact, she was in the land army. Oh, was in she? The, in the war, yeah. Oh. She's got some amazing stories. I love listening to all those stories. So yeah, so when you get down to the end here, look. Yeah. If you finish, come out at the end of your um, line and then bring all your threads out in the same spot. Like that. Okay. And make sure it's nice and flat. You yeah. don't want to iron it right. until you're finished. Yeah. Because otherwise you'll get rid of all your lines. Oh, of course, yeah. So, and then cut it, cut it off, yeah. leaving a nice long tail. Okay. Brilliant. Shall I, I'll move on, Moving on to yeah. the next bit. So you make all three, oh yeah, you've made the whole fan. Yeah, you, yeah. You've, you've done all the fan bits and then you've got this here. Right. So you then, it's just like plaiting your daughter's hair, uh -huh. if you had a daughter. Yeah. With long hair, that is. Hannah does the dog next door. Yeah. <laughs> what does the dogs she's got the, the man who lives next to her tony has got a dog and hannah loves taking the dog reggie for a walk all oh, right okay so only one would think it was um hannah's dog okay yeah, she pretends it is in the park she flirts with the men with the with the oh uh, is this how it. hannah meets all the boys is what is this how hannah meets all the boys yes but in, not, not in lockdown obviously because she has to stay well, distance no. but uh, also, Reggie does like to um, do his business on, like, there's a man that does exercising in the park and puts all his bag on the floor, and Reggie likes to go do and his business right. oh, right. tinkle okay. on the bag, yeah. Oh, that's nice. But Reggie also eats Hannah's earrings, well, from her ears. So it oh, happened okay. once, he swallowed a gold earring, <gasps> and then uh, she didn't learn, and he came round a few months later and did it again with another set of earrings. 
So she just has to wait for nature to take its course. Of course, and get, get the earrings, earrings back, back out. Back, Ooh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Not. So, yeah, so you plant that down. Yeah. Um. If if you if it's it's probably easier on something that doesn't slip. Yes. Because that way it's not going to move towards you. Yeah. And then once you get it down to a reason. Well, if you've got on those boards, you could pin it to you could pin the plant the, the fabric. Yeah, to, you, you know, could the, pin the it to one of your board ironing boards. Yeah, or your yeah. ironing boards, yeah. Or those wool mats. <coughs> yeah, oh yeah, those the wool mats. Pressing are mats so amazing. I'm <coughs> okay. Oh that's again, that's another one of the things I bought and fantastic oh yeah we just got them in stock now and they've been very popular haven't they hannah they are brilliant hannah the wool mats been very popular wool pressing mats have we got any left available on the website yeah they they are stunning one of the best buys you can mm. get yeah you might think they're a bit pricey to begin with because you know you can think well i'm investing a lot in this but everyone i know that's bought one just thinks they're the but best but if thing. you're spending money getting decent quilting fabric and you're going to spend the hours doing cutting it all into little bits and then putting it all back together again yeah why would you ruin it by pressing that? on a, yes yeah. exactly you exactly. want to do it properly mm -hmm. if you're going to do it at all mm -hmm. So, and it's one of those things you buy and you're not going to need to buy it again. No, exactly. So it's not a consumable. No. Not unless you're really bonkers with it and do something crazy. So once you've got a reasonable length, I mean, it's up to you how long you make it. Yeah. But then literally just put all your tails together. And just tie... A knot. Okay. And then snip all your little ends off. Oh. And then that is your Sashko bits. Brilliant. Done. So you make all three of those. Yeah. So once you've got all three pieces done. Yeah. I'll pretend this one's done for yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Right. We know it's not, but hey ho. <laughs> It'd be right. You then want to, again, I've cut all my bits so that I haven't had to cut in between whales. And you would use a, a matching colour thread. Yeah. Um, Don't worry about the noise, that's just Hannah, everybody. Now, it's not imperative that you do quarter inch seams on this, but right. I, have, I have made it as quarter inch. Yeah. But because there's nothing to match up, it, if you don't get quite a quarter inch, okay. it's not too bad. I like this bit where it cuts the thread. My machine doesn't. Oh, it's not. No, but I think my next one might have oh, to. Oh, yes, good. Yes. Should we have a word with Martin? Oh, he'll, he'll let me. <laughs> Bless him. Bless him. Is he back? Because he did he have his breakfast? Uh, he had his breakfast and he came up in a cup of coffee and went back out again. Oh. He's gone geocaching. He's gone what? Geocaching. Oh, I don't understand that. It's, it's where you get clues, isn't it? And you have to go and find something and then it could be something hidden in a church or something hidden in a forest and everything. And then you put the code in so you know that they found it and then you put it back for other people trying to keep it or anything like that. Or you have to leave a little note and put that in and things like that. Yeah, log that you've been there. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yeah, because he'll be in an area that he'll have loads of new ones around here to go to, won't He's he? done over 5,000. Oh, OK. He's done them all, literally, whenever we go on holiday, Martin goes geocaching, even in, like, Lanzarote and oh, my word. things like that. They're, they are literally worldwide. Yeah. So, and it's all my brother's fault because my brother got him into that. Yeah. Hannah did one when she was in Rome. <laughs> oh, hang on, is your thread, uh, Elliot thinks your thread popped out. No, Elliot, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, well done, well spotted. Yeah, I think I've run out underneath. You've run out? It's all right because I've prepared another one. Oh, earlier. perfect. Oh, she's organised this one. 
The kit, the, you get everything you want in the kit for 19.99. There it all is, all packed in there. Did it run out on that other bit then? Oh no, it's all right. You get all the fabric, you get the gold fabric, the blue fabric, the ribbon. Actually, I don't know what the ribbon's for. I'll tell you about that in a the minute. The ribbon is oh. in case you want to hang it. Oh, wow. So it's just in case. Just in case. It's not unnecessary. No. Sashko thread, wadding, everything you need is in that pack for $19.99. <clears throat> and it's selling incredibly quickly. While you're just showing that, I'll just show you the wool pressing mats that we were just talking about. We've got them in two sizes here. Larger one first, that's this one. It's 100, no, it's not 100% wool. It's, uh, it's got nylon, like 10% nylon, I think, isn't it? Uh, it's 30 by 45 centimetres. A little bit of paper that comes with it, it's not there. Uh, and they're brilliant. They will smell a little bit when you first start using it, but they're nice and solid. You can pin into it and everything like that. 90% wool, 10% polyester. Beautiful. That's the large one, $52.99. If you want to try one out, then do, by all means, try this one. Smaller one. The pictures on the web look identical. They're not. This one's smaller. This is 8.5 by 8.5. This one, £22.99. Limited on the smaller one. Okay. Right. So, you've, are you all right? Yeah, yeah. Just Looking a bit what I've bemused done over there. Yeah, no. So, and then you want to press your seams. Now, because your Japanese fabric is thicker than your, um, or heavier, slightly heavier weight, yeah. because of the gold, they will naturally sort of lie. Right, where they want to go. Yeah. But it's, it's not imperative as to which way round. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to iron the other end because otherwise... I won't have markings to do the other bit. Oh, I? yeah, of course, yeah. Although I think I might have just caught it with the iron anyway, but... Oh, no, I'm all right. We're all, all right. right. We're, we're, we're good to go. So then, once you've ironed your things, you want to... open out and... your fabric and your wadding isn't cut to size so you do need to cut to size oh, okay but that <coughs> means you get a night because it's quite a night it's quite a wide fabric so yeah. you get a nice piece of oh left over yeah nice so you could yeah. actually do a couple of coasters to match oh yes 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 yeah so and get the coaster pack coming up in a minute yeah so so you want to lay that on and then this is going to go on top. Right. Um, but so you're going to iron round the edge. Is all this in the instructions? That's yeah, the issue. everything is in the Brilliant. instructions. It's, and I've had it done on nice thick paper. Yeah, so I it noticed lasts. that earlier. So it last. Yeah. Julie says, morning, loving the demos. Love from Julie in Chirk. Thank you, Julie. Oh, where's Chirk? Isn't it in Cheshire, Chirk? I don't know. I've never heard of Chirk before. I think, isn't it round the Nantwich way? That way I might be completely wrong. So you're going around the whole edge? Yeah, you're going to go around the whole in. edge. Yeah. The only bit of machine sewing on this is the sashing pieces. Oh, okay, so we've finished the machine sewing then. For this, yeah, yeah. we've had to finish both of them. Right. Because the coasters don't have any machining. Oh, them. okay, brilliant. So, which are, they're both quite good. Um, if you're having to go to appointments or you've got to go off and do anything or just sitting waiting for somebody. Yeah. Sashko is really great oh, for that. Oh, don't talk about waiting for someone. Hannah's had to, was supposed to be having the build. She's had some building work done. And twice they've said, oh, we'll be there at four o'clock today. So she's rushed off, sat at home. Nobody's Nothing's turned happened. up. And then there's people saying they can't get work. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. 
mind you, I popped into our local job centre the other day for something, and the guy, the, the guys that were there, meant to be giving people jobs. Oh, there aren't any jobs. Nobody's going to get any jobs. Oh, that's nice. And it's like, oh, that's going to give people a lot of <laughs> yeah, isn't, isn't it? it? Just, yeah. But yet, my husband works in finding people jobs. Oh, does he? Can he find it, me one? <laughs> you wouldn't want one of his. I wouldn't want one of his. No, you're oh. better than that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's just the fact that y you don't want to do either industrial or driving, do you? No, thanks. Mind you, I like driving. But have you got a class one or two? No. There you go, I've driven a big truck before once, and yeah. it was a fantastic feeling to do it. I drove but... a tank once. Oh, wow. That was amazing. That was amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, once you've got all your edges turned over once, yeah. it's easier then to centralise, says me, centralise your piece of wadding yeah. that you have cut to size and then I'm not going to do that end because I've not ironed that end, yeah. I've not finished that end. You want to put your sash co on the top yeah, and then take your mattress to pins, yeah. make sure you keep your tail. Oh I was completely wrong. Cherokees by Clan Gochlin in North Wales. Oh, right, okay. So I was completely wrong. Sorry, Julie. Well, it's something we've both learnt today, yeah. then, isn't it? It's what? Something we've both learnt today. Yeah, we have. I should know that, though, because I'm from Chester, so, and we go to, to Clan Gochlin a lot. Uh, such a stunning demo, Beth, says Christine. Thank you. So, you want to pin your edges over. Yeah. Making sure you keep your tail out of the way. Oh, yeah, of course. It's um, always important, that. Yeah, don't pin your tail. And then this is then just slip stitched round the edge. Pressed again and slip stitched round. When you get to the corners, though, it, you can. If you, don't, if you don't want to, don't. But it's a lot nicer if you can mitre them. Yeah. So, they are a little bit more fiddly, but probably bigger scissors would have helped, hey? So, fold that in. And then, tuck that under at an angle. Oh, right. See, this is where, That's where your nails come in handy, isn't yeah, it? Tucking it, is, it in. Yeah. And then you've got a nice mitered corner. Beautiful. And you just do that all the way around. Brilliant. And then just hand whip it down. Yep, hand whip it down and that's it done. Uh, if you're wanting to put the ribbon on, you can just literally stitch it to either. Oh, I and see. Hang yeah, it up brilliant. Then, and it'll hang. Lovely. Okay, let me just remind you about that kit and that pattern and then we'll move on to the coasters. Perfect timing as well. Right, so here's the kit. We have less than 20 of these, fewer than 20 of these left now. So 19.99. There's your kit. It makes this, but there's your kit. You get everything you need in there. Your wadding, your instructions, your fabric, your blue fabric, ribbon if you want to make it into wall hanging, your long needle, your sash go thread, your templates, everything. Everything for 19.99 to make that. Everything. And that makes that. The fly. Uh, you can have the pattern on its own, but this is just going to show how so much good value that pack is. Because we don't mind paying nine ninety nine for a pattern. That's a really good price for such a beautifully produced pattern. But then you get everything for nineteen ninety nine. That one I keep going on about. It. This is nine ninety nine. Oh, hang on. Nine ninety nine for that. But remember, if you want the bundle, there's fewer than 20 of those, and that's 19.99. That one. Jill says, "Morning, all. Our grandchildren just left after a sleepover. We're now on our way home from Devon to Melton Mowbray, near near um, Hannah's mum and dad." 
It's a long dive. Right, okay, now we're moving on to the coasters. Now you can make four coasters from this bundle. Four of these beautiful coasters. <clears throat> Half, did you say? Half the stock of these have already gone. So you get the fabric for the background. Beautiful, isn't it? You get the fabric for the top, you get the sashiko thread, you get the sashiko needle and the instruction with all the templates. And you can make four of these, four, for $12.99. Beautiful, there they are. I presume these are, are kind of along the same lines as the, as the, um, the last project. Topic. Yeah, it's Sashko, um, the, um, the hexagon design is like a tortoise shell long, longevity right. in Japan. Um, I've used uh, embroidery thread on this. Just to oh, show sorry. You, yes, I said just Tesco thread. Didn't yeah, I, but it's thread. just to show you that you can use any threads like that yes. you've got at home. Yeah. So you can use up your bits and pieces that you've got in your stash. Yeah. And I mean, I even did a, one in a different colourway. Yeah. With just a scrap so that you can use any bits of white fabric you've got. Yeah. Um, and again, it's just like the other one, but you put that on top. Yeah. And then you've got your, your markings through there. Okay. Um, and you can see. Um, so with this though, what I've done is I've, like with the um, cushion, yeah. I've put a calico back. Oh, okay, perfect. Just because it's yeah. a smaller piece and it might rock up and you really don't want it okay. to do that. You need Elliot to try and says, keep it as flat as why possible. Why is your one that you just showed us shiny? Oh, that's because I've put a Lamo fix on Lamo it. Lamo fix on it. Now, we don't sell that here, but you can get it's an iron on kind of, or you could eau de coat them, I suppose, eau if you want them. Yeah, yeah. Eau de coat yeah them and that, that way you're going to stop it getting yeah. spoilt. Yeah. The really only difference wine. is, is eau de coat can go in the washing machine. Lamo flex can't go in the washing machine, that's all. Can not? Oh, I didn't realise that. No. Okay. All right. Anyway. Shall we start from the beginning then of these ones? So we've, yeah. we've got our template and we've tra traced so, it onto yeah. our white cotton. You've got your temp, traced it, and then again, you've got your backing. If you don't want to use it as a backing, there's no reason why you couldn't use that as another front. Yeah. So that sort of doubles your fronts mm -hmm. up. But it would just mean, because you can see through it, and it's, yeah. it's, it's um, a quilter's pre-shrunk calico. Yeah, I love calico. So... Oh, it's useful for everything, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, now, these, you've got your straight-on hexagons, but then you've got these little um, singular stitches. Yeah. Those could even be done in a contrasting colour. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you could, because you're just using embroidery thread, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. So, and that one I did in a variegated right. thread. So okay, before you start saying, just move it to your right a little bit for me. Thank you, perfect. So, f again, follow the lines. Now, with the hexagon, because they're all the same, same size on the sides, yeah. work out how many stitches you're comfortable getting in there. Right. If it's not the four marked, don't worry, just make sure you've got the same number on each side. Yeah, of course. And it will give you a really neat finish then and you're literally just doing exactly as you did before mm -hmm. you want to make sure you're not picking up too much you want more thread on top than you do behind mm -hmm. and whenever you get to a junction all your crossover threads need to be on the back. Uh -huh. And then you just move to the next. Right. So, in a way, I think it's important to have your calico behind because if you jumped from that one to that one and you just have your layer of your thin cotton, you might see the red yeah, through you it, could. which is the wise, the nice that the calico's yeah. behind there because you can't see where you're jumping from stitches and things. Yeah. Or the other one, you could, if you wanted, 
put your wadding straight on the oh, back. Oh, yes, yes, and yes, yes. So quilting would, as you go. It, would, it yes. would actually give it a more of a quilted look. Yeah. Is that wrong sign again? Yeah. It would give it more of a quilted look. Of course, yeah. Um, which can actually look really nice. Mm -hmm. No, exactly. <clears throat> it just means, because we've all got these embroidery threads in our stashes. Stash. And how many, how many, um, are you, did you split it or do you use it? I've split six? this into three. Right, okay. So I've got three strands here. Yeah, perfect. Um, but it, it doesn't have to be, you can, you don't have to split it if you don't want no, to. No, If you want it chunkier, do it chunkier. Of course. Um, and if you want, if you want to make your stitches smaller, Mm -hmm. Just split it down into either one or two. Yes. Because you can That'd make it much finer, wouldn't it? Yeah. One or two. Yeah. But you can. Oh, it's just so mindful. Is uh... did you say this pattern had a name? Is this the? Is this the um, it's, tortoise? It's tortoise shell. Oh, tortoise in, shell, of course, yeah. And 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 it represents longevity. I think yeah. it is. Well, one of my neighbours has got a giant tortoise as a as a pet. In oh, her wow. garden. And she's come from South Africa. She, she, she moved from they South Africa. Oh, yes, yes, like hundreds of years. Like yes. over 100 years, yeah. Giant tortoise is a pet. Mm. Wow. Yeah, well, I thought it was a doorstop when I thought he'd like to sit by the back door. <laughs> and I saw that's a lovely doorstop you got, Margaret. Did you bring that from South Africa with you? He went, John, it can start moving in a minute. And I was like, don't be stupid. Anyway, we sat in the garden <laughs> and he moved. came wandering out into the garden to see what we were up to and everything. I see my dogs just don't sit still. They what? Your dogs don't sit still? No, 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 no. That will be daft. <laughs> my fur babies. Have you had them for long? Um, well, Ruby is Portia's mum. Oh, OK. And she's had two litters. Um, and so our village has got quite a few little Yorkies running around it. Oh, that because, hurts? Yeah. Oh. So... There's, I think there's about seven or eight little baby rubies running around the Aww. village, which is quite nice when you go for a walk. Yeah. Yes, I used to have two cats called Norman and Nelly, and I bought the, got them from some breeders in Amersham, two lovely ladies, really lovely ladies in Amersham. <clears throat> and then um, a few, a couple of years after we'd moved to, to Twickenham and everything, uh, and one of my neighbours said, oh, I've just seen your Nelly down at about four streets away. And I said, no, you haven't. She's here, she's here. Anyway, I went wandering down there, and one of Nellie's sisters lived in the street. About She'd come from the same family and everything, but she was the spitting image. If I'd seen her, I'd have picked her up and taken her home and gone, what are you doing here, Nellie? Come on home. But she obviously lived in that house, you know. Yeah, Ru Ruby had seven. Mm -hmm. Ruby had seven oh, babies wow. each time. Oh, wow. She was like a little football. Yeah, I bet. She properly was, but oh. they came out that big. <gasps> and they looked like little rock violas to Yorkies when they come out. Yeah. Um, they're all like really black with and tan with the rays flat yeah. and shiny. So now <clears throat> Christopher's just mentioned Christopher's wife is Japanese. And we had this when we opened Sewing Street, we had this all the time. Uh Christopher says his wife is Japanese and she says it's pronounced Sashiko with three syllables in Japan. But we had this whole conversation when we first we had advisors in and everything. Yeah when we opened Sewing Quarter, and because we were all saying Sashiko, because that's the way it's spelled, and then we told, on no account call it Sashiko, call it Sashiko, so who knows? Does it does it come different dialects, different maybe, areas in maybe, Japan, maybe, perhaps? Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe she's good. Um, Miharu's a different dialect, but. Yeah, me, I don't know. Yeah. I was I was taught to say it that way. Yeah, yeah. When we first started saying quarter, we used to say sashiko all the time. We were getting told off all the time. For yeah. It, but that's yeah. Personal. Yeah. I mean, because it's like we say different things oh, yeah, in different do, yeah. parts of the country, yeah. don't we? Yeah. So it might be that it's different yeah. dialects. No, exactly. Our it's cat's a football, but she just likes food, says Dominique. Uh, can you move to your right a little bit for me? Sorry, sorry I keep no, doing no, no, that, no. Don't, don't apologise. She's doing brilliantly. So, so yeah, so you just literally carry on your pattern yep. until you've, you've completed. And when, when you're starting and finishing, you're, you're just tying a knot behind. I can only tell you there's only 10 of this kit left. 10. 10 of this kit left, that's all. So you, you literally just, I'll fasten it, I'll see. 
And what I tend to do with the needle is I, I work the knot down, right down close to the um Oh yes, right back. down to the fabric. If you, if you hold hold the thing, then it takes the knot right down. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That and the nails. Yeah, obviously. of course. Hannah, why don't you have your nails done that long? Oh, because she likes doing painting and decorating and she ruins them in the Oh, nails. yeah. I, no. I, I don't paint and decorate anymore. Yeah. I just, I I'd quite like to see Hannah like that. Because you watch, uh, you don't watch um, Long Island Medium, do you, on the telly? No. She's got, neat, she's got nails. Like, I don't know how she does anything. They're about that long. Quite a lot of people in America seem to have really, really And she goes like that, <laughs> on the table, and but I just can't think, I don't know how you do, I don't know how you do anything. Yes, if mine get any longer, I can't type very easily. No, I suppose not. But, no, I'm, it's my girly, girly bit. Yeah. Just got to do it. Oh, yeah. So, so then, once you've done your whole, I did have one. Yeah. Where's the one of, there yes, we cool. go. Lovely. There's the front I've prepared earlier, as Blue Peter. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. You then want to take your now all you, all these pieces are cut to size. Oh, now they are cut to size. These in this are one, right? Right, your okay. wadding and your backing are cut to size. Right. This might you might want to trim it down, just a touch. Right. Okay. Um, because I left it just that little bit bigger, just so that it's easier to work with. Of course. Um, but this then, you are going to iron your edge over on all four sides mm -hmm. and probably about a quarter of an inch Again, nails come in for this. Okay. Don't burn your finger fingertips. Yeah. Watch, well, don't melt your nails, Elliot says. <gasps> oh, no, they don't. They don't melt? Well, I haven't melted any as yet. Oh, as yet, OK. Not as yet. Right. Anna set fire to one of hers, apparently. Oh, right, OK. Yeah. Probably not the best thing to do. No. no. Right, I'm just going to trim away... OK. ..the... Uh, you can use your rotary cutter, but... Are you a scissor or a rotary cutter girl normally, then? Um, or 50-50? 50-50, I think. Yeah. I've always got my scissors, and as you can tell, they're a bit... because I've wound, because the pink came out, and I didn't want to get rid of them. And oh! <laughs> you get favourite scissors, Oh, so no, don't totally, you? totally. I've still got the same pair of scissors I started at Wimbledon with in 1982. One. I've st I've still got the very first pair my mum and dad bought me when they bought me my first sewing machine. Oh wow! So I still got the sewing machine as well, actually. What make was it? What was your first sewing machine? Faf. Oh, mine was a Frister Rossman, my very first one. Yeah, but I've got my husband's mother's first sewing machine as well. Oh wow! Which was um, a big big cast iron new home, and then I've got my nan's sewing machine, which I learned to sew on originally. Yeah. Which is oh, one of the those. Oh, wow. It's not even got a foot treadle, no. it's just a hand. An old singer in a wooden box. <gasps> Love it. Oh. So I'm I'll collecting sewing machines. All these sewing machines in it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, why not? <laughs> right, okay, so you've cut. You've so your... I've ironed the edges over. Okay, we'll just look at that. There we go, perfect. I've just trimmed a bit of the calico away. Yeah. And then I'm just going to pop that on. And then I'm going to. I, I use my clips for this, right? just because it seems to be a bit easier. And then you're literally just going to work out roughly where that's going to be centralised. Uh-huh. And clip that over. So you're just putting one clip on each side? For the minute, and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to clip, clip, okay. clip the... Oh, right, okay, corners. so just getting it centred, yeah. Yeah. This is why the tortoise's legs come in. 
And then again, if you want, you don't have to mitre, but it does give a better finish. Oh no, it looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. So you just want to trim away some of the corner, just a bit less bulk. Susan still has the first sewing machine box my mum, hang on, I still have the first sewing box my mum bought me for my eighth birthday. The handle's a bit worn and the clasp was broken, but I won't get rid of it. And Christine says, I love this pattern, never done it before, but it's lovely. They look like little dragonflies at the ends. Oh yeah, they do, I didn't see, I didn't notice that. Which bit? The bit, you see with the corner, when you made it at oh, the corners, here? yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, tortoiseshell, Christine, tortoiseshell. No, oh, it can be what you want it to exactly. be. Exactly. It can be what you want. So, mite the corners. Uh -huh. And go around and do all of those. And then again, it's just a nice little even slip stitch mm -hmm. going round. So, nothing complicated. Something you can sit there in, the, in your chair and do. Have you got a sewing chair in the lounge? I've got my chair. Oh, lounge. your chair. It's surrounded by stuff. Oh. <laughs> so nobody really else really wants to sit in oh, it. Oh, OK. So. But I've also got my, my uh, Grey Ants sewing box. You've got your what? Grey Ants sewing box yeah. that her husband made her as a wedding present. And it's full of all her old sewing bits and oh, pieces. Wow. So you're obviously from a sewing dynasty then, because my mum couldn't sew. We had a biscuit tin with a few buttons and a few threads yeah. in. Um, I think that generation could do more yeah, sewing, yeah. couldn't they? Mm. I think it's the younger generation that they either decide they want to do it or forget it. Yeah. Well, my I think we live in a world of disposable fashion, disposable yeah. everything, don't we? And it's sometimes yeah. You can't think, why would I sit at home make it when I can get one on the internet? For Lily, Lily's idea is, why do I need to go and buy it if I can look at her picture and show it to my mother <laughs> and say, Mum, will you make me that? Oh. Do you make clothes as well? I used to make a lot more. I don't make very many yeah. now. I can't move around like I used to do, uh -huh. so I can't crawl around the floor cutting things oh. out. Tell Martin he needs a bit of a bigger cutting table. Poor old he Martin. would, he would, bless him. Shall I have word with him? He's ordering one now, I hear. <laughs> he wouldn't, he'd make it. He'd put it oh, he'd together. Make it. Oh. Yeah. He's already talked about turning the dining room into uh, somewhere. So, because I've already got my own sewing room, so now the dining room's going to be somewhere as well. Oh. Now he's a gem. I love him to bits. A shame he's not listening, isn't it, really? Or is he back yet, do you reckon? Uh, no, I said, no he'll, he'll still be geocaching. Yeah. I hope he doesn't forget to come and get you. I won't. No, I won't. He was watching me on uh, Facebook Live. Oh, was he? Yeah. He didn't message in. Did he not? Naughty no. boy. I'll tell him. Nice message here. Just ordered my very first Sashko. Never done anything like it before. Watch this space, says Rosina in Paris. You will love it. So now, have you got a, um, a, a Facebook page or an Instagram page where people can show you their pictures of what they've made? I've got a Facebook page. Right, what's it? I've either got just Beth Miller. Yeah. Or with an, with an E, not With an e. an e, yes, thank you, with an E. Um, and on that, I've got a little group, so with Beth, but I'm not really quite very good at getting on with that. I will get back into it. Oh, OK, that's I fine. promise, I'm just... Yeah. I'm just really rubbish. But you're on the Facebook, you're on our Facebook fan page, aren't I'm you? I'm on your so Facebook fan page. So people put pictures on page. there and tag yeah. you in it, that, that'd be Yeah, nice. for definite, please. Yeah. Please do, I'd love to see pictures of things done. Oh. Yeah. So now tell me what stitch would you do around there then? Just like a nice little slip stitch. Right. Oh. With your pebble. Is that yeah. pebble? It is a pebble. They're brilliant, those. Oh, do we still sell those? Oh, no, we don't sell them at the moment. Oh. And you just use normal thread just to do that? Yes, just to go around the edge, it's literally just an ordinary red thread. Um, I mean, you haven't got red, white will do, fine. Okay, please don't put your needles in your mouth at home. Oh, sorry. That's all right, everyone does it. We all do it, but we just have to... I know, but how many times are we told not yeah. to? Well, it's like cutting thread, you should never cut the thread with your teeth, should you? Oh no, I don't do that anymore. Oh, not anymore? No. What, what? Those nails getting in the way? No, no, it's, it's, <laughs> more nerves. You're nervous? You haven't come across as nervous at all today. Thank you. I well, she hasn't, been. has she? 
No. So Nobody yeah. Nobody would know it was your first day here at all. Yeah. So you've done really, really well. Thank you. Yeah, it's not it's not something I ever envisaged doing being on television. Well no. I only contacted them to start with just to sell a few kits. Oh but no, neither did that. No, yeah, that did worked that. out, didn't it? <laughs> no, I went on to um was the first one I did, Richard and Judy, to talk about James Bond costumes. And then I went on Lorraine Kelly to do a makeover, thinking, oh, that'd be it. It was fun. Well, I won't do that again. Then went to this morning, was there for 10 years. Never thought I'd be doing this. Yeah, I know. It's amazing how life chucks you a curve. Well, I, ball, but I believe, it? no, but I believe, I, th 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 I Everything think happens for a reason. Yeah, they're all chucked at us for a reason. And you, you can choose whether to go with them or not go with them, because no decision is ever wrong. But it's just that. Oh, well, I, I've done that all along. So I trained to be a teacher. Then I went to Wimbledon School of Art. Then, And, you know, like things have just been thrown at me. Now, if I either thought, oh, yes, I'll do that. Or, oh, no, I'm not doing You know what I mean? Sometimes yeah. you make the right decision. You don't have to say yes. No, no. It's but then give it a go. Because yeah. you might have come here, hated it, and gone, well, I've done that now. I'm never going to do it again. Or you might have gone home to Martin. No, and go, no, no, I'll come oh, back. I I'll come if back. invited, I'll come back. Yeah. So, Beth, yes, you're wonderful and doing a good job. Uh, Claire says, can I get off the naughty step? Yeah, oh, that's because Claire talked about somebody's dog doing a whoopsie downstairs. <laughs> um, yeah, you've still got a few minutes, though, so you're not going home yet. All right. So let's have a look at you stitching that bit on then. So it, it's literally just like a, I call it a slip stitch. Yeah. yeah. So you, you're putting most of your needle bit thread behind. Yeah. And just coming up. And it's it's just to catch, catch it down. Yeah. And then, yeah, Odie coat the tops. Yeah. And then, then it'll stop this getting white, red wine stains on Yeah, them. Elliot. <laughs> I don't drink red wine, so. You don't like red wine? No. Excuse What's me, your Eddie. tipple, then? Um, my tipple, probably white wine. White wine. A nice glass of white wine. Oh, there you go. Elliot's is a... Yeah, what alcohol? Any alcohol. <laughs> Elliot's... Oh, he likes ale, whiskey, red wine, flipping egg. <laughs> the whole top okay, shelf. Okay, stop now, Elliot. Is that going? The whole top shelf. Yeah, well, yeah. He hasn't gone on. He couldn't reach the top shelf. <laughs> no. No, because, you, you know, because you... He hasn't seen his feet for years, so let alone... Oh, he know. has. <laughs> <laughs> He'll tell you why in the break. I'm not telling Oh, you. all right, then. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah's staying very quiet. Okay. And then, then just literally slip stitch down yep. your mitre corner and back up again. Yeah. And just carry on round. Okay. And How many of these kits have I got left, Hannah? Seven of those left uh, and loads in baskets. And how about a table runner? I thought the table runner had sold. Nine left. But 20 people in baskets, so you're going to miss out. You're going to miss out on those. That's the table runner there. Congratulations. Are we done? I can be, or do you want me to carry on? No, you can carry on. You can carry on chatting. I'm quite enjoying this. Oh, all right. <laughs> How many minutes have we got left? Oh, two. So we're not much chatting. Oh, not much chatting. So, so um, have you got other bundles and kits that you want to bring and show us then? Nicole? I've got loads and loads. I've got, because I've, I've got quite a few that I sell on Etsy. Right. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah, yeah, of course you can, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I've got quite a few that I sell on Etsy, so with Beth. Um, so, but yeah, I've got loads I want to bring you. If you'll have me back. Are, are they all are they all of an ilk or do you do different? Do you do quilting? Do you do anything like that? Um I've got I mean I've got a lovely lap quilt I want to bring next uh -huh. time. Um I've got um most of it has either got some embroidery on it or yeah. some sash co. Yeah. Because I, I quite like the hand sewn element in yeah. it. Excellent. Rather than just the machine. Yeah, just yeah. And also yeah. Just, sometimes that doesn't make very good telly just watching straight lines being sewn and things, but I don't know, I just think it sort of gives people a bit more of an idea it's theirs. Yeah. Because yeah. you can, you can personalise things a little bit more. Yeah. Because with all the kits, you don't have to follow them religiously. And I say that in the mall. I quite like it if people want to do Go off piece a little bit, yeah. But, I mean, I've got a nice uh, bag I want to bring. Um, and that comes with like all the buttons and the beads and everything that oh, go with nice. it as well. And you always do kits then for them, do you? I do kits and patterns. Yeah, and they're yeah. really good value as well. Really good value. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye and thank you very much no, indeed. No, that's all right. That's thank you for having brilliant. me.
Um, just sum up now. What's, oh, there's nothing in the graphics. <laughs> so, graphic-wise. Okay, the hexagon coaster is not going to do because there's more people in baskets. Got that. <clears throat> the table runner. More, way more people in baskets than we've got stock. Five not been checked out, but loads of you, loads of you got it in your basket. Got the pattern on its own. There you go. 9.99 pattern on its own. So with Beth. Uh, now in the la in Beth's last hour, we did a cushion. I'm just going to talk about that very quickly. There it is, 24.99. That's the grey one. That's what you can make with the grey one. You get everything you need, bar the cushion. Oh, you must have forget to take your cushion thing. Oh, don't worry about it. Okay, the cushion pad, the cushion padding. Uh, Twenty four pounds and ninety nine pence. My dressing room is like a padded cell. It's got so many cushions in it. I can't <laughs> tell you. I can just lie, <laughs> lean against the wall, lie on the floor. There's cushions everywhere. Have a nice snooze. Okay. Right. Thanks ever so much, Beth. Have That's a good journey right. home. We'll see you soon. Yes, uh, hopefully. Uh, Hey, what? I said yes, hopefully. Oh, look, she's off. She's packing. She's off. Oh, I've gone, yeah. <laughs> and she's gone. Um, uh, don't go anywhere. Mark is up after break. We're doing a uh, Fiona Hesford pair of trousers. Uh, we will see you in three minutes from now. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. <laughs> to see me back. <laughs> My baby piece of kiss with the sewing is to see me back. Hello, I'm Janice from Birmingham. I specialise in dress making. I used to run a children's shop and I love making children's clothes. My mother encouraged me to sew from an early age. When we were young, we did just making in school. My claim to fame was the sewing quarter, but I'm now making also jumpsuits for the ladies and men of all shapes and sizes and it seems to be going for the festivals around the country. See you on the show! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. We know that 
that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Mark's back. Mark's back with some Fiona Hesford trousers. She knows he's got them. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Uh, so we've got lots to do, so let's get on with it. So pattern on its own here. Now, you know Fiona Hesford, she is so girl. She was in with me recently. Um, these are her Elsie trousers, sizes 8 to 20, suitable for beginners. Now, the brilliant thing about these trousers is you can make them in almost whatever you wanted. Do you know what I mean? You can make them in denim. You can make them in a lovely light linen. You can make them in a heavier uh, linen. You can make them in a viscose. You could make them in a lovely tweed. You could make, you could use so many different fabrics to make these. They'd be lovely. And also you could change the length. If you don't want to wear them at that length, you could change the length. Uh, there's the pattern. Here's a picture of Laura wearing them. Hang on one second. Here she comes. There she is. Wearing the ones that Mark as well. Now, isn't that funny? That pattern looks different when it's on than it does when it's hanging in the, in the vault. Anyway, I've got that fabric coming up for you. Uh, they're nice shoes. I wonder if she's wearing Otto and Ivy shoes. They look like, like Otto and Ivy shoes, don't they? Anyway, <laughs> this is a So Girl pattern. Now, on the back of the pattern of this one, you have all your measurements. So it goes from an 8 to a 20. Now, the 8 is a waist of 25, and the 20 is a waist of 37, obviously, inches. But then... Um, and then the hip measurements are on there as well. Finished garment measurements are on there and your fabric bundles that you need, fabric that you need is on there as well. Eight to 20 they are. Now, they're lovely and they're very simple. Very, very simple to make as well. So you can have cropped length or you can have full length. You see that both the patterns are in there. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And that is 17 pounds and 99 pence. And all oh, the other thing is, if you go to Fiona's blog, sogirlblog.co.uk, I think it is. Um, she does hacks and she shows you all sorts of things. So as well as Mark's demonstration today, she can show you all sorts of other things that she's done with those trousers. It's really good. £17.99. Right. The ones you've seen made by Mark already is this fabric. This is a lovely, very, very lightweight. It's two and a half metres you get in there. Two and a half metres. That will make your biggest size on both lengths. So you can make the longer length with the two and a half metres. That Now this is a very soft, uh, what I'll do is when we go to Mark, I'll get Mark to hold them up and show you how uh, floaty they are and everything. That's a really, really lovely fo floaty fabric. So there's your 2.5 metre bundle, right? But if you want to buy it by the half metre, I've got it here as well, but I don't know why I have to show you because it's the same fabric. That's your half metre bundle <laughs> there. Uh, I'm not bundle. You can buy it by the half metre. Graphics coming up. It all makes a difference, Sean. It all makes a difference. Exactly. There they are. Aren't they lovely. By the half metre. Lady McElroy, Layla Star Fabric. Layla. Layla. The showgirl. No, that was Lola was a showgirl. Layla uh, was Rolling Stones, wasn't it? We had a, a Layla at the bank and we always used to sing her with her yellow feathers in her hair. R wrong name. I, I no know. wonder she looked to you like you were, you were mad. <laughs> <laughs> they had 140 centimetres wide. 100% viscose. Uh, viscose fabric is a man-made fabric using natural fibres. Right, OK, the one Mark is going to demonstrate him is in a denim. Now get the right one. Now get the right one. What's the code, please? That one. Right, now, I've got two different denims, but on the telly, they look identical, so I just need... On the web, do they look the same on the web on different? Okay, so this... Oh, hang on, 62, yeah. So this is the bundle, two and a half metres of denim. Now, whenever we have denim bundles, it flies out because a lot of people have already got... Fio oh, actually, tomorrow, I've got all of Fiona's um, other patterns in my pattern show tomorrow... Um, so this is always good to have for um, a lot of a lot of her patterns. So this is your dark denim. I'd say it was a 
four and a half, five ounce one, this one. Two and a half meters in that bundle for £23.99. I'll show you the other denim now because um, it is different. <laughs> <laughs> it is different, I promise. Look, it's slightly lighter, slightly lighter. Is there a difference in the weight? No, there's not a difference in the weight, no. Oh, okay. Uh, medium denim, this is called. Two and a half metres, 23.99. <laughs> okay, moving on. Now, uh, so that don't, uh, now, 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 now. I love this. No, I love this fabric. Oh, the bundle's about to sell out. Now, you'll be wondering why there's a plastic bag there. It's because I couldn't get the code off it. So this is the, this is the bundle. I love this fabric. It's 38 99 for two and a half metres. I just have to check the width for it. What, what fabric is it? Um, right, okay, so it's Morelli Chambray, right? Um, let me just feel it. It feels like, it's got a, t here, let me throw you the half metre so you can have a feel of it. So look, it's, n it's like a lightweight. It's, it, I don't know what mix it is. There's a mi mm. definitely a mix in there, but it's lovely. Isn't it a lovely weight? And it's woven as well. Yeah. You it's do all such sorts. a that'll, beautiful fabric. That'll make fabulous trousers, just like you said. Yeah. Or you can make a matching waistcoat to go with it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there, you go. there you go. But this is your bundle for your two and a half metres. Mark will model the half a metre one in a minute. So that's your bundle for two and a half metres. Right, there's only one of those bundles left. I knew that because it's beautiful, that bundle. Oh, hang on. That goes out. Fabric on its own, as, to, as um, modelled by Mark. There you go. Oh, <laughs> You could be like a kilt. You could make a kilt out of it, couldn't you? It's lovely. Morelle Chambre it is. No, no, it's too short. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and don't turn around because it's not at the back either. Right, okay, so that's that fabric, which I absolutely adore. We've also got some of your heavier linen, which would work. This one's the darker of the two that I've got today. Now, I've only got this in the bundle today. I've not got this by the half metre. Oh, it's pewter, this colour. Pewter. Oh, that's, pewter. Quite good. that's a good word for it, Yes, actually. it is a good I, word. I like that word. Because pewter shoes go with everything. £28.99. Pewter shoes? Pewter coloured shoes, yeah. Go with everything. £28. I learned that from Debbie Paver. £28.99. Do you have pewter shoes? Hmm? Do you have pewter shoes? I don't. I did have. Did you? I used to have some Prada pewter shoes, yes. Many when I had money, <laughs> I, when I had a proper I job. heard the gas from here <laughs> in the gallery. <laughs> I used to have fancy things, you know, yeah? What happened to them? Well, I stopped working in the films, didn't I? <laughs> right, here we go. And here's the other one, which will be called Stone. Stone. I'd stopped working in the film industry. That's what happened. They're being horrible to me now. Wasn't Layla, Derek and the Dominoes? Oh, I would not know. I thought it was Layla. Do, 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 do. Oh, hang, wasn't there a Sting song? Sting? A sting? Oh, no. Someone like that. Someone, anyway, someone we're rubbish. With a guitar. Don't, don't come here for <coughs> dial a disc or whatever it used I know to who will know is Glitter. What? Uh, Dominique. Oh, Dominique's watching, actually. She'll probably know. Okay. Right, and then I've got this other viscose Google fabric it. here. Google it, Glitter. Go yep. and find out. Here we go. This will, these would be lovely in this, wouldn't they? Mm. There's your two and a half metre. This again would make a different trouser because this would be very, very floaty. Bundle of two and a half metres first. £38.99. Elliot's given us this fantastic new monitor that we've been asking for, you know, for six months, seven months, eight months, whatever. But Elliot's put it in now, right? Uh, the trouble is where the price is there on the corner there, where the price is. I can't see it because the lip of the auto cube just goes, so I have to go like that all the time. <laughs> I'm not complaining, it's good for the core. Or the glutes, I'm not quite sure. Half a metre. Can you see it? Look, there you look, look, look. Well, you, you can't really see it because where I'm sitting, you can't see the thing. Anyway, take away the magic of telly. Then we've got this beautiful one for the half metre. Apparently Sue says, yes, it was Derek and the Dominoes. Yes, it was Derek and the Dominoes. Yeah, I was wrong. I've not heard of Derek and the Dominoes. Come off it. No, I haven't. What, what period were they from? Oh, you were definitely around. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Now, I've also got 
Uh, some island facing, which you'll need for the marker explanator for the waistband. Yeah, yep. waistband. Yeah. This I'll is your medium weight interfacing. Oh, the graphics are being very slow today, aren't they? Three ninety nine. The meter by meter, you don't need that much, but it's always good to have in your stash. It's only a small piece, but it is really important to have. Okay, it. and then also you will need some elastic. This is very, very wide elastic. Derek to the Dominoes was Eric Clapton. Eric Clapton, that's who Layla kept going on about at work. Yeah. Sting sang, sang Roxanne. She married a fireman. Right, hang on, I've got this one too. Hello, John. I love the dress that was on display behind Mark. Do you sell the pattern for it, please, from Jane? Jane, where were you? It was Mark's last hour. So Late the, the nine o'clock hour that was on. Late to the party. She yeah, missed everything, didn't she? Saturday morning, isn't it? What? Well, it's walking the dog, taking the kids yeah, to football, exactly. tap dancing. If you, I don't know. If you want the pattern for the dress, that, for, hello, hello. if you want the pattern <laughs> for that dress, okay, it's 8 to 20. <clears throat> Did it go to 20 or 22? 20. There 22. it is. 22. Oh, there's Laura again. There it is wearing That's that That's my neighbour. Oh, bless her. Right, and the sizes for that dress are here. Oh, what's 22? 8 to 22. Right, let's move on. Now, before we do anything, can you bring the trousers forward that you've mm. made? Just so we can see that the flow of that fabric, the, the floatiness of that fabric. Look, there we go. <laughs> Perfect. That's the one you've made that of, but you're going to make matter denim, which will make a completely different trouser now. Yes, I was originally going to have some other viscose, but um, the one they were after, they couldn't get it okay. in time. So uh, they went with denim, which I think is actually a nice contrast mm. to doing it to that. Um, and also, uh, not everybody would want busy trousers. No. So uh, anyway, it's just different options. I, am, I have made a start on this. I've already constructed one pocket right as the pockets are one of the first things you'll do on this okay. to get those out of the way which is always a, an early thing to do but this is a, a lovely pattern to do i think a, a lot of beginners like like she said uh, like fiona said will be really good for this because mm -hmm. there's no there's no flies there's no buttons on this there's oh, no zips fantastic. so no so, fastenings or anything no nothing it's all done with the elastic round the waist and uh, so yes so you, there's no there's no zip on the front Brilliant. side back or anywhere else mm -hmm. so here's the pocket which is also constructed out of the denim the pocket bag you could swap that out for a contrast if you had something in your stash yeah that you like the look of um but the facing you will need to do there in the matching yeah. so that's the other side let's do this first oh no i don't need to do do, do the pleats sorry you do the pleats before you do the pocket. Beg your pardon. Yeah. Beg your pardon. Let's get the pleats in the right place. So. Now, I did the pleats going this direction. You don't have to. You can do them in whatever direction you like. You can do them in either direction. Yeah. They are called different things. There's one American and one English, I seem to remember reading somewhere. Well, if you pleat them one way or the other. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I just know that if you pleat them towards the side seam, it's more traditional, and that's the way that most skirts and trousers would have them. But if you want to create that boxy kind of look, you then have them facing to the front. Are there yes. two? There's two pleats, yes. You could almost do a box pleat if you want to, one going one way and one going the other way. Yeah, yeah. you could have a lot of fun with the pleats yeah. and doing, doing them whichever way you like. I think I read that English pleats tend to go one way and Americans sometimes okay. go, go the other. But it I think what it is, is pleats always used to go towards the side seam because <clears throat> it was more flattering and it gave you a flatter tummy. Whereas Fiona designed her clothes to be that kind of blocky, kind of very modern, Brighton girl about town sort of thing. So I think that's why she did them the other way. A girl about town? Yeah, she's a girl about town in Brighton. Is she? There's films of her going into coffee shops and frightening people and everything. <laughs> Right, so I've just done a little stitch at the top, just to kind of hold that into. Oh, that got a long thread on it. That might have been me from earlier. What's that? I just there's a long thread on the machine, which surprised me. Then I realised it's for me earlier, wasn't yeah. it? When I was making um, the Petworth dress. Can't blame Wendy. No, that was me that time. Actually, last time I was in, I got to meet Wendy for the first time, which was nice. Rather than just. Having a, a complain about her whenever, yeah. she, whenever she's not here. Yeah, she watches every minute, so she'll hear it. Does she? Mm -hmm. oh. I should hope so too. Let's just snip that thread off because thread, long threads are no good to anybody, are they? There we go. Good. 
gun. And hopefully, the important thing, whatever you do with your pleats, whichever way you want them to face, however you want to sew them, make sure one side is the same. As the other side. Oh, as yeah, the you other don't side. Go to the side seam one way into the middle and the other one. No. And do you not do you only do a stitch to catch them? You don't actually sew them down the pleat. I am going to sew them down now. Oh, okay. I, I've just put that in place just to yeah. kind of anchor them. Yeah. And then what I will do is just run a, a you could just do a basting stitch here. It's just to hold them in place right. while you're putting the rest of it together you don't want them to wiggle about, do you? Okay, but do you not stitch down the pleat as well? No, you don't stitch down okay. the pleat, no. Okay. At least I didn't. You made no. me wonder now whether I should have been. No, 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 I have a look. No, so yeah, uh, Fiona does them the same way okay. as I've just done them. See, Fiona's done them towards the side seat. She has, I've done yeah. them the opposite yeah. way. I think partly by accident, but I also quite, I quite like it that way. It just looks a little kind of different. Yes. Yeah. There we go. So you could do them whichever way you like, whichever way you, suits you. You might have seen some trousers that you like and you want to kind of emulate. Mm -hmm. so, Ooh, so, so that's, um, that's a good word, that's isn't it? a good it? word for Saturday morning. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd appreciate that, being an English teacher. Well, it didn't last very long and it did was 40 years ago. How long were you teaching? Oh, I didn't. I did my final teach practice and left. Oh. <laughs> Did my final teacher practice at Garforth Comprehensive. So I did Loved it, absolutely loved it. But I would have loved teaching the kids. The kids weren't weren't a problem. It was the it was the teachers in the staff room I couldn't abide. Oh, fair Not enough. all of them, obviously. Well, yeah, that's it. It's a long time ago, isn't it? Forty years ago. Forty years, I know. Making your mind up was it number one. <laughs> well, Cheryl Baker. They sang that on Pointless a few years ago. Did they? Yeah, they had. Her and Mike Nolan and oh yeah they're still they're still around but they're not called Bucksfizz anymore. Whoever the other two are, no because there's a prop. There Jay was a Ashton they were and I want to say Mike Newell but that's not right. But yeah, it's not the same. There, there was a big court case about yeah it. about the name yeah yeah because it's called the Fizz now. Oh, the original ones are called the Fizz, are they? Y or yes, but it's not all of them. It's just some of them. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, Google it. It's very interesting. Yeah, very interesting. She said she likes my pictures on Twitter. Shadow. Does oh, she? Fred. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Now you can't blame Wendy. No, I don't know. It's just decided to unthread itself. What a silly thing. I saw the Nolan at uh, Nolans. I saw the Nolans as well. Um, the Bucks Fizz. I went to see the Nolans in London one night before I knew Colleen Nolan. This was. It's going back to when I worked in films, and I was really disappointed. There are only two of them. I thought there were five that were going to be just the two old ones today. Yeah? But then I met Colleen because she took over as the presenter on this morning for a while when I was there. Um, yeah, I went to see them at, when they did their tour a number of years ago oh. when there's four of them. So uh, Colleen, Linda, Bernie and another one. Yeah, I think it'll be the two that weren't, at the, the two that went off on their own beforehand. Bobby G was the other one. Bobby G. Um, yeah, at the NEC. And the, the amazing thing was, the song they didn't sing throughout the whole show was I'm in the mood for dancing. Right. And then they did their last song and then they left. But of course there's going to be an encore. And then there, weren't, there was no one on stage for about a, a few minutes while they got changed. But then the whole auditorium, about 10,000 people, started to sing I'm in the mood for dancing. Oh. It was very, it's very yeah. bizarre. Like someone had got a message and I hadn't. Yes, <laughs> yes. Why are they singing? I didn't know. I went to Colleen's 40th birthday and the whole family... Is she family, 40? She was, many years ago. And, um, <laughs> although that came out wrong. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the family were she singing watch a cappello. And it, they, their really? voices, because you kind of think of them as a pop girl, you know, and their yeah. brothers as well who weren't in the pop group, obviously, but um, they sing beautifully. The whole family, the mum and the dad, everybody, they all sang beautifully. Oh. Anyway, we'll get on with the trousers. Yes, let's get, watch trousers. We'll get We'll get a message in a minute, go and get on with it. <laughs> We're waffling. Yes. So, so what have you done? Where have you sewn? So what I've done is I've put the pocket bag against this curved seam here uh -huh. and sewn it down with a one centimetre seam allowance. Right. We're now going to just snip up to the stitching but don't go through the stitching, that's very important. Uh -huh. Or you might have an hole. It's just on the curve, really. And then we need to iron it. 
So this is the bit, if you wanted to do a different facing in your pocket, you're going to put a Liberty fabric in them. This is the one you do, the other yeah. one. Try and but match the weight, I think, to the weight of the, yes. or something approaching it. Yeah. So you, you wouldn't want to probably use a viscose no, for, no, for this, because no. it would be too uh, flimsy. But quilting weight, cotton would work and everything. Quilting weight, yeah, if you've got some scraps, some Liberty or, or, or anything along there, it doesn't have to be Liberty. But as happened on your Great British Sewing Bee, just be careful it doesn't move, ease back, because... A lot of people got marked down, didn't they? Because they did on the old... Um, yes. What's it it's pants, the yeah? uh, Palazzo pants. Palazzo pants. pants. The pockets were moving back. The ones who'd done different colour, it was kind of moving back over Yeah, the they were doing inseam pockets. That's it, yeah. Uh, which is a little different to yeah. this, of course. Uh, but the danger is there that, depending on how well you've made it, as to whether they show through yes, or not. Exactly. I mean, that wasn't in the instructions. And, and talking about sewing bee, the important thing of the pattern challenge is to just do what they want you to do yeah. and, and nothing else. Have you applied yet? I oh, know you can't. Can I you? can't. <laughs> oh, it's a thimble there. You can't apply if you make a living out of sewing. I can imagine you turning up to do it. That'd be so funny, wouldn't it? And then I got kicked out in week one. It'd be very funny. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what are you doing next then? So now I've just ironed that pocket bag round. Yeah. Not the bag, that the the bit. And um, I'm just going to sew down that seam and that will hold that in place and also create a nice bit of top stitching. Some people worry about top stitching, but just find somewhere on your machine to line it up to. I'm using the edge of my foot. Yeah. Or you might want to use it to line on the machine, because they've all got lines on the foot plate. And just um, keep following that, and then you won't go wrong. And don't stop in the middle no and, don't and if you if you just use a thread that is so matching you can hardly see it anyway well this is it i mean i'm using denim so you could think well their jeans have got to use the the kind of orangey goldeny colored yeah. thread but you don't have to yeah. i'm just using this happens to be black oh i i did start it with dark blue but you can't really tell the difference now yeah. um, there we go so that's that bit and that's it from the behind right and we'll get the pocket Bag. Got to get these pieces the right way around, or else you end up with. Of course, you can use the reverse, the denim as well. You that's, could. That's quite fun. Um, Yesterday we had some quilt backing, which was like patched denim. It, it was a, a, a photograph that was like um, digitally printed, but it was like I said yesterday. Digitally printed denim. Yeah. Oh. And, uh, and it was beautiful because like lots of people bought it to make dresses and shorts and dungarees and everything like that. So it looked like you patched all this denim, but it was just a digital print. Someone should have told Raph that on the sewing bee. Yeah, that's what I said. That dress was amazing you made, wasn't it? Mm. Were you not so... Did you not like it? I don't it? want to say anything to get anyone into trouble because I know fashion goes round in circles, but did you watch Next in Fashion? No. Okay. Was it on there as well? Mm. That was on Netflix, well, and it was where they got actual designers. It's like the Great British Sewing Bee, but it's like people from all around the world who are actual designers at the moment. And Daniel Fletcher did one um, very, very similar to us. But again, there's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing, nothing patent new. in fashion. There's there? nothing new anymore. No, well, it never was, was there? It's all been done. It's all been done. I keep loads of jeans. In fact, we never throw jeans away or give them away because you end up in, in a big bag of jeans in the exactly. garage. And they always get used, cut up, to do all sorts of things. I mean, you couldn't make a pair of trousers out of a pair of jeans. That would be silly. But yeah. you could, <laughs> well, you could <laughs> cut them up and get different denims yeah. and put them back yeah, together definitely. again. Okay, Claire said, the sewing bee application form asks for an optional video one to two minutes long. I sent a link in for 12 minutes. Oh, Claire, they won't look at that. <laughs> or they'll watch the first two minutes. I hope the first two minutes were the best. Do you know, I did have one or two messages asking for advice on the video and what you should do and put in, but we didn't have videos to do. You didn't have to do a video? No. Because mm -hmm. there was no COVID then. No? Wasn't even thought of. Mm. Probably didn't even exist. No. So we just, we had live auditions. Oh, so you had to go in and sew literally for them? Well, yeah, we had two auditions. So one of them was uh, to kind of me to show some things we made and have a chat just yeah. to see what we were like as well. And then the other one was actually like a like a dry run sewing bee, if yeah. you like. 
Oh. Well, we did it all in person. And when you did them, when you did the Drive Be Sobe, were there other people in the room, like, as <coughs> in other contestants? Yeah, there was about 25 of us. And did any of them from your rehearsal make it into the thing apart from uh, you? Yeah, Fiona was there. Fiona was sat right next to me. Right. And I think Liz was there, but she kind of, I didn't notice her so much. She had her head down and she was just, she yeah. was just going for it. Um, but it's about seeing how we could talk on camera, how we could sew, and how we kind of react to yeah, all, oh, all, nice. that, all of that going on. It's oh, quite fun. Yeah. I was very upset afterwards. I thought I'd messed it up. Oh. Yeah, but it, just go show in, in a screen test or an interview. It doesn't matter if you mess it up because it's how you deal with it, isn't it? So, yeah. Because you're bound to mess it up. Not you. One is bound to mess it up on the actual show, and it's how you deal with something rather than the fact that you've made the mess up in the first yeah, place. Yeah, well, this, we had to make a child's dress. And which is just as much work as making a big dress, mm -hmm. frankly. Mm -hmm. And mine looked appalling, but okay. uh, but it didn't really matter because no. it was. I think it's more about like like you said, it's more about how we how we deal with it. Yeah. So what I'm doing now is just sewing across the top of the pocket bag, yeah. Just to kind of, again, hold it all in place. You could just do a basting stitch for this. Actually, it doesn't need to yeah. be a, a short stitch. It's just to make sure it all kind of sits in place so that you're not tugging with it later and. Trying to get it to, to move in the right way. There we go. So that's the front done. Brilliant. Isn't that fab? Uh huh. I think they're great. They work for a man as well, almost as well. I think. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. Well, yeah, because there's yeah. But there we go. That's the front done. So get your pockets done first. Now the back, as the pattern comes, doesn't have any pockets on the back. However, I was chatting to Fiona yeah. before we came on, and she said there is a, a patch pocket option you can download from her blog for free. Oh, there you go. I mentioned the blog, the So Girl blog. Yeah, she asked me to mention it, but you got in there before. Oh, sorry. You? I didn't realise. <laughs> no, that's fine. We so rehearse. Um, we might know these things. Well, we do rehearse. <laughs> oh, no, that's prep. Oh, sorry. No, imagine um, if we'd like, we did this to a script, we'd be going off it the whole time. Well, there's an auto cue, there's nothing, nothing, nothing on, on it. Nothing on it. No, <laughs> you're on it. <laughs> Just me. Uh, here's the blog, if you want to have a quick look at it. Oh, it's fun. called uh, So Girl Blog. There she is. There she is. She's not that demure in real life, I presume. <laughs> they click on Elsie Trousers, and there's all that. And then there's the blog for the pocket in there, then. It should be there somewhere. Loads of days. So you look at the different fabric, the longer length, the shorter length. There's your sizing. Everything's there that you need to know. There There's will the be, pleats, you see. There will be a link on it somewhere. She's got the full instructions on there, which is great as well. That's the exact what I'm looking at here, in yeah. the, in, but it's just on the screen. That's the waist coming up in a minute. How much stuff, you look, how much stuff does she give to you completely for free? I know, it's amazing, <coughs> isn't it? And there should be a, it should be on there somewhere. I'm yeah. sure if you read it through, you'll find the link to it. But it but it is on there. So if not, message her if you can't find it. Yeah. But so there's nothing else to prep for these. I've just sewn down the centre back. Right. Uh, I haven't overlocked these because it's just for a sample. But you might want to consider overlocking them. Yeah. Or uh, or or getting a zigzag thread. And also, Hannah, this is the way you should have made your trousers. Hannah made a pair of trousers, and she oh, made the she? two legs, and she made two left legs but oh. still sewed them together, so oh. it had no bottom in it, had a lot of fullness at the front. But if you did it like this, then it would work better for you, Hannah. Well, how else would you make them? Well, no, she made, she made one, I, the way I do it, you make one leg and you make one leg and you put oh. one leg inside the oh, other I and see. sew round. Mm. But if she did it this way, then she wouldn't get confused. I think it depends on what's going on, because if you're doing- In her life, oh, so much, <laughs> I can't start, let's not go there. I seem to remember we had that on the sewing bee for the palazzo pants because they had inseam pockets yeah. down the side, so you would have to use that method. Yeah. But for these, you, you can do them, which is how you usually make men's trousers mm. for the most part. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, let's see what... Anywho, as they say. Who says that? You did just now. Anywho. Isn't that Scottish? Anywho. It Any sounds Scottish. Yeah. So let's move on to the waistband. Right. Uh, oh, they're under there. So you've got two pieces. One is slightly longer than t'other. Right. Slightly. Yeah. There we go. So okay. this one up here is for the back. That will get hoiked in with the elastic. Right. That piece is the interfaced piece, which I've already done, which is for the front. 
Mm -hmm. So what we'll do is we'll just sew it down the sides to start with. That's quite good if she's only got fullness at the back, which means it doesn't make more lumpy bits around the front, you know what I mean? It's more flattering to wear. Yes, I think so, yeah. And, uh... oh, I haven't changed the stitch length. Yeah. Don't base these together, sew these together. Yes, well, they won't survive. you be Fiona modelling them, if you want to have a look at Fiona modelling these. And wide, these wide leg design trousers are very uh, popular at the moment. Yeah. For, for men and for women. They're a, they're a great style and one that hasn't been in fashion really for, for a while, if you follow fashion trends. Yeah. I'll just see what you're watching. You're watching me on the telly. I'm aren't watching you? you. Yeah. Is it good? It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just do I'm the... waiting for the song and the dance routine. Oh, that can happen. I used to do tap. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. Little Paul used to do tap. Did yeah, you? I dreamt last night I was in Batman the Musical on a cruise liner with Serena from Great British Soap. I'd love to see Batman the Musical. I, I, I don't even know if it exists. I, well, I, I haven't heard of it, but I think it should now. Yes. I think it should have costumes by John Scott. No, no, I was in it. I wasn't making the costumes. <laughs> and the set was amazing. It was this great big circular thing that we were running around like this. <laughs> you do have vivid, vivid, vivid dreams. dreams. Yeah. No. I don't eat any dairy. Um, no, it comes out in a rash if he has dairy. Yeah, oh, not just a rash. Uh, Hannah had a dream that she was auditioning for uh, X Factor, you see, so oh, it's all no, going on. She could be in the musical, she could be the interval entertainment, like River Dance. River Dance. Clive did a radio programme all about um, uh, Eurovision. Eurovision, yeah. And he didn't realise River Dance came from Eurovision. Oh, no. In the, uh, when it was in Ireland, it was, the, it was brilliant. It was in the break. And I went off to the kitchen to make a cup of tea and came back and thought, what's that music? And then just sat entranced by the whole thing. It was the, probably the best part of the whole evening, yes, wasn't it? Yes, I think it, it was. Okay, so I'm just ironing these seams. Right. I'm just going to leave them flat, actually, because I think with the elastic, it's not going to... Um, I've oh, got a question from Joan. Oh, Joan. Joan says, hi, Mark. What type of needle should I use to sew stretch denim? Brilliant <gasps> demo. Thanks, Joan in South Staffordshire. That is an excellent question. And I'm not 100% sure the answer on top of my head. Do you know, Joan? I would just use a, a normal size uh, 14 needle. I wouldn't use a ballpoint. Just a universal it, needle. Yeah, universal needle. Um, only because um, you can buy jeans needles, but... Um, only because we always say, don't we, we've got to do stretch with a ballpoint needle, but that's because when the whole fabric is stretched. But stretch denim normally only has about 3 to 5% elastane in it, so I would use a normal needle for construction. This does have, this does feel like it has a little bit, of, I don't know whether it's Well, it, it's it's it feels to. like it, but it doesn't say it in the breakdown, that's why I hadn't ah. mentioned it. But it does feel like it's got a little bit of it giving it. Yeah, I, it? I did think that. Right, I'm just folding this in half. Right. And giving it a press. Yeah. So that we know where... Where, it, where to pop the elastic. Oh, let's get that in the right place. Yeah, it's always worth keeping a good supply of other needles. Oh yes, definitely. We had a good stock of um, Microtex and Universal and yeah. denim needles. Top stitch, posh top stitch needles. There we go. Okay, so that's just marked where we need that to go. But now this is going to go in the back. Right. So get your elastic. How long do you know, how do you know how long to cut the elastic? Because she tells me. Okay, perfect. Which is, which is excellent. Where mm -hmm. is it? Can I find it quickly in here? Uh, here it is. Okay. So for a size 12 I'm doing, which is 31 and a half centimetres, the most you need for a size 20 is 41 and a half centimetres. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Or you could just measure it to yourself. I mean, you don't have to use that if you wanted it to be less elasticy. Yeah. So we're going to sew this in place. So what, you're just sewing it flat? And down a seam or...? Yes, so just sewing along the same seam line as we did before. Okay. And then we'll do the same at the other end. I think I can lose my ironing board now. Mm -hmm.
and then we'll sew it down here. That's it. Now there's two different methods for the waistband in the instructions. One with and one without an overlocker. Right. Now I've, I do have an overlocker, so I can do that. And what we're going to make is we're going to make the whole waistband like this, you see. So if I get this in half again, this is, oh, it's just like I had the elastic flat then. No, well, you think it was twisted? <laughs> just for a second, I thought it had twisted, but it hasn't. Okay. You do need a bit of patience when working with elastic. You've got to stretch it out correctly. Uh-huh. And you want to get it all inside the channel. So now we're going to sew these together. Right. So the front bit stays flat because the two pieces are the same. Absolutely. But the elastic is shorter than the back section, isn't it? It is. So it, yeah. so it will pull the, the back section together. So let's Brilliant. pin. Let's pin yeah. those together. Give that a tug. Oh, hang on. Now we need to see this, Elliot. We need to see this happening. Yeah. Sorry. We need to see how, the, how you stitch the elastic in. That's not a pin, that's a needle. Right. So all Mark's doing at the moment is he's just pinning the flat bit of the front of the waistband. There's an awful lot of blunt pins in there, <laughs> are there? <laughs> that was bent. That's probably the one I, I broke on the machine. No, Elliot saved that when he's got it framed in the office. <laughs> and what we need to do is make a channel right. for this to sit in. So we're going to sew these together right. using a one centimetre seam allowance. Okay, so this is the flat bit at the front first I'm of going all. to start at the flat bit yeah. and then I'll work my way around to the tough bit. Oh, but she's got... Magic pins have arrived. Thank you, magic pin lady. Oh, they're posh. What are these? So they, you can iron over those. They, they, <laughs> open this, this side. They're called magic pins, those. Don't tell Clive, he'll want some. Oh, they're brilliant. They're, just, they're out of stock at the moment, but they're just brilliant. You get slightly longer ones. So. I like long pins. I used to use little pins. Yeah. But then you, I went over to the dark side of using long pins. Oh, no. Margaret says, I love Mark's dressmaking demos, says Margaret from Thornaby on Tees. Ah, thank you very much. Okay, so we've just sewn the two front ones together because they're exactly the same size and flat. They are. That's the easy bit. Yeah. Now. Now we're going to come on to the tricky bit. You do have to keep shuffling the elastic about a bit. Yeah. Because it will want to, of course. Now, I'm not sewing over the elastic. I'm just sewing the denim. Yes. That's all I'm sewing. You don't want to catch the elastic in or is it weren't elastic. No. Which did happen on a sewing bee in series five where they were making some kind of harem trousers and a lot of people were actually sewing over the elastic. Well, they well, said to sew the elastic down. Yeah, but, but then, then they couldn't pull them onto the mannequin. But then they also had, they had issues with elastic when they were doing some, some trousers in this series, didn't they? And yeah. They, nobody, seemed to be able to, nobody seemed to be able to get the channel right, the bit you're doing now, nobody seemed to be able to get that right. Yeah, that's... So let's just oh, give you caught the elastic then? No, 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 it's fine. I'm just kind of shuffling it, shuffling it through. Yeah. Oh, hang on, what have I done? So what you're actually doing is you're actually sewing the two pieces of denim together yes. and then keeping the elastic free so that the elastic still fits in. But obviously the denim one is going to be much, much longer than the elastic. So you have to keep shoveling the elastic through so that you, you're doing a, sh a channel around the elastic. Don't catch the elastic. No, I'm trying to just pull this. You need to keep shuffling it along to try and or pulling it yeah. so you can... Here we go. Take your time. Obviously, I'm trying to get this through yeah. quickly for you all so you can see what I'm doing. It's a one centimetre seam allowance. Yeah. I think you would need to stick to one centimetre with this because you're obviously not going to get them over yourself because they're, you won't get them around your waist otherwise. And then all we'll do is then just pop the, this whole affair onto the top of the trousers. So in a way, it's quite a quick little make. Uh huh. This is the only tricky bit, isn't it? Really. I think so. It's just a bit. It's just a bit awkward. 
Ah, oh, there we go. Let's lose that pin. There. There you go. I'm, I'm round. Yeah. <laughs> So just show us how it looks now that you've gone all the way around. There you go. Here we go. Not twisted. That's good. So that's what you get. Right, that's, so that's the flat bit is your front of your waistband. And then the back of the waistband is stitched together, but you've not caught the elastic in. Look, it just elasticates what denim you've got there. That's, it's got a raw edge there. That's the raw edge you can put now through your overlocker if you wanted to, yeah. just to lose that raw edge. There is another method in the instructions, there we go, yeah. which will tell you how to do it an alternative way, a way you attach the waistband to the trousers and then you'll pop the, um, you pop the elastic through, through it, which is another way to do it. Yeah. So what we need to do now is pop the trousers together. Now, the thing I'd like to do first, though, is pop the, uh, I keep saying pop. Pop, yeah. Popping everything. There's little uh, belt loops here. Right. Which I've already made. But all, we're gonna, all you're going to do to do those is to cut out a rectangle, a long, thin rectangle of fabric, and then you uh, make a piece of bias binding like I did in, with the Petworth dress, mm -hmm. sew it down, and then just chop it up. Is it bias or is it on the straight? It's on the straight. On the straight no, did yeah. I say bias? Yeah. Oh, sorry, no, it's on if the straight. If you make it like you make bias band, you do it in the half and fold it over and fold it over. That, yes, that kind of thing, but it's yeah. not on the bias, no. it's on the straight. Yeah. You don't need bias cut belt loops. No. That would be funny, though. There we go. So just pop those, pop them again. Pop, pop, pop. I need to stop saying that because it's going to start on. Half the stock of today's allocation of the pattern is gone. It's going to annoy people if I keep saying pop on everything, isn't it? No. I, they used to be, when I was at the bank, we used to have a TV license. Those were the days when you could watch telly. I could watch this morning in the staff room. That's why I used to watch you on this oh, morning. Oh, I see. I wonder where, where you're going with that. So at the bank, we had a TV license. Yeah, we did. Well, yeah. we had to because we had um, we had a telly, yeah. which we were supposed to use for watching corporate videos and of all course. that kind, kind of stuff. But we had to have a license so we could watch Neighbours. It was in the staff room. Morning. It wasn't in the bank itself, was it? Customers couldn't sit around watching No, it's it. in the staff room. Yeah. Um, but we did have a telly in the banking hall as well, which oh. they used to show CFAX with the, sh the FTSE 100 sharing. Oh, now you're showing on. your age. I know. And, and also, when it was Wimbledon, oh, or, yes. or something, then the manager would put the cricket on or something. Yeah. It's, actually, it was really fun because you, that, that, the whole bank would just stop and they'd watch the telly all afternoon, including all the customers. Yeah. It was a great, it, there wasn't much work being done. Oh, but You can say that now, you don't work there. Yeah, well, you wouldn't. I mean, this, this was a long time ago. Yeah. But um, I forgot where I was going with this story now, anyway. No we well, just suddenly came out with a TV licence. I did, it was you going... You said, I want to do my belt, belt loops, pop, pop, we had a TV licence. Oh, no, I know what it was. So on my lunch break at the bank, I used to watch some kind of healthy eating, living, exercising kind of programme, and a very young James Martin used to do the cookery bits yeah. for it. And everything he did, he was says... Was Pebble Mill at one? <laughs> No, but I did used With to watch... Ju what's name? Spires, Judy Spires. Judy Spires or uh, Alan Titchmarsh. Oh. Um, but he used to say, you basically do this and you basically do that and you basically put that in there and you basically... Oh, switch. no, because he was new to it. I think so. And then, and then I've just thought, had a moment, I thought, I keep saying pop. Pop. You pop this on there and you pop that there. Mm. And I need to, I'm having a... So I'm you're James Martin, reborn. I am. I am. Who knew? Oh. I used to do... Um, Style challenge up at BBC Birmingham BBC in those days. Birmingham. And that's where Pebble Mill at one came from. So did you hang around with Alan Titchmarsh no, and Judy Spires? No, no, we were pre-record. We, were, we weren't live. Oh, why have you done that? You naughty thing. Oh. They did one Doctor Who from Pebble Mill once. Did they? Yeah, they couldn't get the studio space at Television Centre, so they were told they had to go to Birmingham to do it, which no one was very happy about. Oh. So then they had to move. Nothing wrong. We're coming to Birmingham. Well, they had to had to move all the set. Yeah, of course. And had to go down there to be done. But then they said they had a much better time recording it at Pebble Mill than they did in in London. Oh, after moaning. Yeah. They said that they were very complimentary about the crew. Oh, see, people don't like change, do they? No, well, this is it. That They were filming in this kind of lighthouse set, which was very restrictive, and uh, the whole light assembly for the light in the lighthouse sort of collapsed. 
oh. after filming, so the Pebble Mill staff stayed up to put it all back together again. Oh. Pebble Mill. Did they ever build on it? I know they pulled it down, didn't they? What? Pebble Mill. It's gone. It's gone. Hasn't it gone, mm. Melly? It's gone, hasn't it? Pebble Mill. But gone, did they gone. put the flats on it or whatever they oh, were yeah, going to do? Oh, that's what it'll be. Those the days. What, when they built flats on TV studios? Yes. I think even ten, half of Teddington Studios has gone like that now as well. Oh, has it? Well, it's because it's on the river. Oh, so the They still do filming from there, but half it's gone. They want posh apartments, don't yeah. they? So what I've done now, the belt loops are on. I'm now going to pin it down the side seams. Uh, and you'll catch in... They even come in a posh box, look. You'll catch in the pocket, the side of the pocket bag as well. Uh -huh. So that won't be flapping about. Yeah. And measure, your, just get your top on. Hopefully your trousers are the same length. If not, don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. You can always hem them, which mine don't seem to be. But it's fine. And just keep them nice and flat. You don't want to ease anything in here. If you're easing it in, you, you might end up with... Yeah, you don't want ruched side seams. Yeah, I have seen that on trousers, and they've obviously had a difference. Well, that was clubbing in the 80s when we had ruched side seams on lycra trousers. Really? That's telling you too much. <laughs> and where did you go to do that? We used to go to the Embassy Club, I think. The Embassy? Yeah. Where was that? In London? Yeah, that, that, that London town. Is it still there? No. I doubt it very much. It'll be trendy apartments. Everything's trendy apartments. Or offices in the middle of London where it was. I did a tour of BBC Birmingham a few years back. In, in its new home now. In, oh, yeah. In, in yeah. the mailbox. You could go in and see where they record the archers. Yeah. And you could do a bit of weather presenting, like Shafali. Well, you can have a go. Yeah, you can have a go. Oh. So I'm just sewing all down. I'm sewing through the thickness of the pocket. So you are going over several layers of denim, up mm -hmm. to four at this point. So just be careful on your machine. This one seems to be coping fine, though. But if you're always struggling, then just take it a bit slower. Yeah. Or maybe consider a denim needle, like I was saying. Talk about needles earlier. He's just saying he can't believe what they've done to BBC Centre in London because that's all flats now. And I went to have a look at them and they're all... It's because the BBC's a circle, was a circle. Are they all look, you all look into each other. The concrete donuts? Yeah. How do they concrete look into donuts. each other? Yeah, you always say you would look, sit there looking into your lounge, looking into everybody else's lounge. How they've got good neck curtains. Yeah. Well, the thing is, when I went to it, 90% of them had sold. And I said, but there's only, I went in winter, I said, there's only four lights on. They went, yeah, nobody lives here. So it was like all these flats were sale. People have bought them, but just they're sitting empty. Oh. Do they? Investments, I think. Oh, wow. yeah, the ones I went to, a little two bedroom. I'm not, I was going to buy it because I've got this kind of money. Two bedroom flat, 990,000. No. Yeah. It seems uh, kind of ironic that the BBC has sold it off. This is the whole of the debate we shouldn't really have here. Probably, yeah, no, but, that's fine. Um, that they sold it off. It's now being converted, and some of it is still studios. And yes, the station well, this morning's there. And the, the network that's picked it up is, is ITV. They yeah. do GMB, Lewis, yeah. in this morning. It's all ITV yeah. they're using it now. And it seems quite bizarre that it's... Well, BBC mainly comes out of Salford now, doesn't it? Yeah, it's the, it's the rival network yeah. that's picked it up. But... Hey-ho. What do we know? Yeah. So you can see, you're starting to get a trouser forming now. Yeah. I've oh, got ten minutes. These yes, Christopher, the Embassy Club was in Bond Street. <laughs> see, it makes me think of Embassy cigarettes, you see, when you say the Embassy Club. Oh. Was it the same people? Yeah, that, as Elliot says, when I used to go clubbing, you could smoke in clubs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> could smoke on a bus as well in those days, and an aeroplane. I know. And the cinema. It's big everywhere. Well, it's really weird because if you watch Heidi High, I know I shouldn't, but they just light up a cigarette anywhere, whether in somebody's chalet, whether in a staff meeting, whether in... The, you know what I mean? It's just weird that people used to do that. I love Heidi High. And I want to go to a Butlins, but only if it's like Heidi... I, like I don't think they're like Heidi High. Anymore. I think you'd not? have to go to a Heidi High weekend at Butlins. I think that's what you'd have to do. Do they do that kind of thing? I imagine so. They do everything else, don't what, they? In a kind of 
stuffing the spaghetti down the front of your trousers kind of competition. Yes. That was, that was on a couple of days ago on Heidi High, actually, that competition. Where do you watch Heidi High? On my telly. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm... don't watch it at the bank. Don't go to the bank to watch it, no. No, don't do that. I've got them on DVD, but they're packed away at the moment. Why aren't they? The DVDs are packed away, oh, oh, so, so I can't watch them at the moment. Oh. Or so I would... DVD. I remember uh, it came to when it came to an end. I cried. Really? What? It came to an end? Yeah, when it finished. I it's... cried when. What was the thing that Sarah Green and Philip Schofield used to do on the Going Saturday? Live? Yeah, I cried when that finished. Did you? Well, I was a great adult. I was working in the film industry. <laughs> I loved Going Live. I thought that was a great. Oh, no, it was a brilliant programme, wasn't it? And also, my best news this week is they're remaking Watercolour Challenge but not with Hannah Gordon, with Fern Britton. Not Hannah Gordon? Not Hannah Gordon. Is Hannah Gordon still alive? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> she must be a good age now, though. Yeah, yeah. But Fern Britton, she'll, she'll do anything, won't she? What, who? <laughs> Fern. <laughs> oh, no. I liked it when she did the one with the, um, what was the challenge with the allotment challenge, whatever it was called. I liked that one as well. <laughs> Now, I haven't sewn up the middle yet, because sewing straight seams doesn't make interesting okay. telly. So I'll, no, skip that. I'll skip that bit. But you can now see there's a pair of trousers forming. Yeah, perfect. So I won't sew this on, because I won't be able to navigate it in time. Yeah. Um, it feels very different doing this in, in this denim than doing it in the, oh, can imagine, the floaty yeah, viscose, viscose yeah. which you do fight it a little bit to get it into place. So like before, Match up your side seams, mm -hmm. put a stabber in it, and match up the other side seam. And then you've got to try and wrestle the elastic onto it. And again, it's not difficult, it's just a little bit awkward, really. Come on, there we go. So the front should sit fairly nicely. So I've marked the middle. So I can just pop that there, and then if you need to, you can just kind of ease ease the fronts in if if you need to do that, which I think okay. I, I did last time, just ever so slightly. Yeah. But you could pop those in. Uh, I don't want to be rude, but how many minutes have we got? Because we've got to run to Yarn Lane. We've got, it says five minutes on the clock. No, we have to finish at five two normally. That's oh, do we? Don't, don't clock, yeah. Well, anyway, you'd you pin that all the way that, around. Sorry. Pin that in. You'll have to stretch out the elastic to yep, pin the back in, yep. and then you'll nail. You'll just nail it all the way around with the sewing machine. Nail it. Nail it. Yep. Nail it through the overlocker. Hem it and do the middle, and it's done. Perfect. Thank oh, you. Oh, there is a belt oh. as well. Oh, there's a so belt. The belt is optional. It says the belt on is the optional. Front here. Yeah. There we go. Fantastic. Thank you very much indeed, Mark. When are you back? Oh no, when are you back? You're back quite soon. Fifth of June. Yeah. Fifth of June. Fifth of June. That's with me. Right. Thank you, Mark. We have to go. Pleasure. Right. Very quick round up because I've got to get to Yarn Lane. Right. Here. Pattern on its own. Few, fewer than 20 left uh, when you all checked out. We will look at it in a second, don't you worry. There you go. 17 pounds and 99 pence. There we go. The So Girl LC trouser pattern. Which fabrics, if any, do you want me to go through? Denim bundle. Which one? <laughs> the one we were using. Yeah, this one, this one, this one. Here we go. That's the denim bundle that we've just used. Two and a half metres of gorgeous denim. Ignore those. So look, there's a lot of denim there. It's wide, it's wide that fabric as well. Beautiful, 23.99. You might want it for other projects. And the bundle that the sample is made out of, which is this one here, which is your viscose. This is your um, Lady McElroy, called Layla. Did the check fabric sell out? Check, oh, check fabric sold out straight away, yeah. Oh, in fact, where's the piece you've got there? It's yeah. Just there. yeah, brilliant. Layla Star, So Girl, Elsie Chaz Bundle, two and a half metres. That's your viscose there. You make a completely different trouser. Mm. There she is wearing it. The lovely um, Laura. Laura. I was going to call her Fiona then for some reason. Laura. Right, okay. Uh, now we're going to go to Yarn Lane now. So I have to give you tomorrow's menu for Sewing Street, which is here. 
Menu. Charming hummingbird fabric. Charming it is. Nine o'clock, huggable and lovable with Janice Hobbs. Oh, they're fabric books with Janice Hobbs. Ten o'clock, bag making tools and accessories. That's me on my own. Quilt as you go, tote bag. I hope that's the one that wasn't missing with Janice Hobbs at 11 o'clock. And then at 12 o'clock, we've got dressmaking tools and patterns. Uh, so uh, we will see you tomorrow morning on Sag Street. However, if you're watching on the telly, you don't need to go anywhere because Yarn Lane will continue here. If you're watching on YouTube, on the website or on Facebook Live, you do need to go and find the Yarn Lane equivalent. Um, so I will see the other side of this. If you're not coming to Yarn Lane, I'll see you at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Thank you again to Mark and we will see you either later or tomorrow.